We're going to get started in about four minutes. Welcome to those who are watching now. All right, my stream health is excellent now. Look good to see. Okay, let's get back to this. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, Nuki? Nuki Duke? Good to see you here. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have made you a moderator. So if you see any bad behavior, you know what to do, buddy. Here's a quick question. Let's, let's test our latency. I think I've I've tried to set my settings to be as real time as I can. There's always going to be some latency, but where are we at right now, buddy? Why don't you try tape, type in a message or something? See how it works. Yeah, like this. It seems like it was about, uh, for me, it, from the time that I saw it to the time that I saw it in the viewer here, it took about five seconds, which isn't too bad. Cool. All right, I think... I've, I've only figured out half of this stuff, but at least I figured that much out because this is already smoother than my first time around. <laughs> and no small part thanks to, to you and, and other people on uh, Zardis's Zardis uh, whatchamacallit, Discord. That That's the word I was trying to think of. Okay, so it's not quite 9 o'clock yet. You know what? I'm going to get started anyway. Um, this is going to be as much for the people that are watching it after the fact as those who are watching it live. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually I have already set up. I'm going to post real quick that I am live on Twitter here and on a couple other places. Uh, I got to figure out, isn't there a way to share It's got to be a share button somewhere around here, huh? I guess I should have figured that out before now. But you know me, I got to do it last minute and not and by the seat of my pants. That's why we do it in Texas. Hmm. Where the hell is a share button? Create highlight. I don't know. Hmm. I don't think it has anything to do with that. Oh, there you go. See, that's why I have you around, buddy. That's why I have you around. I don't know. You kind of really, you've more adopted me than than me adopted you though <laughs> let's be honest about this <laughs> hey 
And how's that audio? Do you like my new setup? I'm super pumped about it. It was like a, it was like it came the day after I ordered it, and it was like Christmas. Is this a link to my Discord? No. That's just an old... Ooh, I'll get to watch my own. <laughs> no, no, I'll get to watch my own. <laughs> that was just weird. Oy vey. Well, they won't let me do it in there. Okay. Oh, well. Let's do it in our Oh, I'm in C's artist. I'll throw it in season art as this too. All right. So So uh I I I do that. Uh every video gets a link in the description as well as on my about page. And I, I, I just started this, but the videos that I'm posting right now, I recorded before I had my Discord set up. So uh, the videos I'm posting now will have a little, uh, it says like, subscribe, contact, and join Discord. And I, I will probably start mentioning that. And so now is a good time to mention it for those that are watching. Um, we do have a Discord, and uh, I do say we because uh, this was not done without the help of, of others, such as Nuki Duke uh, specifically. He's been a big help. And so if you'd like to join that, uh, we are going to post a link, I think, pretty quick here. And uh, would you do that for me, Nuke? And uh, it, it'll be a place for us to... To be able to chit chat, uh, oh, this is uh, not mine. This one's mine. Um, be a place for us to chit chat, do some cool things. Uh, you can give me feedback. I love feedback. Um, the more brutal, the better, as long as it's civil. Now, I'm gonna throw this to the side and get out of that because let's get to to playing some games. Yeah. So, what what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna make a map from scratch. I had a person, and uh, I'm betting they'll come in sooner or later here uh, on Reddit that was asking for this, and uh, I don't mind doing. It. I, I think I'm gonna enjoy it. So uh, you go to terrain dot party. There's no dot com, nothing like that. Just terrain dot party. If you see right there, look up here, and. Uh, I, I tend to do this in Google Chrome and not in my like uh, Microsoft Edge or something like that because Microsoft Edge, it doesn't work as well. Uh, it just is not as friendly. So uh, Google Chrome is a much better way to go. Uh, 
It's not my. I don't like Google Chrome as much in that uh, it's not as private, but sometimes it just works better for like YouTube and stuff like this. So, such is life. And so it's just like Google Maps in a lot of ways. In fact, I bet you it's got a Google Maps base, but uh, don't quote me on that. It might be something else. And you just drag this around to wherever you want, and you can grab a map. Now, uh, one a couple different things to note here is you can also increase the size and decrease the size. And you know if you're doing that, you're, you're probably not going to have as realistic a scale. And the other thing to note is if you're going to do something like uh, I don't know if you've seen my uh, my whole Jackson Hole, Wyoming. There's Jackson, Wyoming, right there. And so my Jackson Hole, Wyoming series takes place in this area right here. And these mountains are really tall. They're like 6,000 feet. And I think the max for uh, the game is like 1,000 feet or something like that. Uh, don't quote me on all of those numbers. But bottom line is the height of your mountains are not going to be as high as they are in real life, which is a bit disappointing because they are so spectacular. But... Um, it is what it is, and it's still way better than having to try and do this by hand because, man, this is this actually makes it pretty easy. So let's, let's find a place here on the East Coast. I think I'm liking uh, Chesapeake Bay here. Uh, so let's do something on the Chesapeake Bay. Maybe we can do this river inlet. Um, we don't want to go, I don't know, maybe we'll do it more like this. And... The Chop Chop Tank River. We're going to do Chop Tank River. Okay. And uh, I think that looks pretty good. We got a nice big bridge here. We want to be able to bridge across to the other side. Now, I'm not using any mods. I haven't been using any mods lately um, because of my vanilla... Uh, Let's play, and also because of, well, let me see something real quick. I'm sorry. Bear with me, guys. Um, uh, sorry about that, guys. So, uh, I lost my train of thought, too. I'm, I haven't been using uh, bods lately, so we want to stay within the inner square. If you're using the 81 tiles model, then, you know, this is the whole thing. But, you know, you, you also got to really think about uh, when you're doing stock in vanilla where your center square is because that's where you're going to start now. I think you're actually, you're able, like, if it's not in the center, you can make that be your start, um, even in the stock vanilla game. So that 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 is something to, to think about. But you want it to be at least in these center nine. You don't want it to be on the edge. That's, it just doesn't work as well. Um, that's just a design uh, policy that I have for myself and that I suggest for yourself. Um, but uh, I think it, it is uh, one to follow. So I'm going to do it, I think, right here. you got a nice little bay going here. I really like the variability here. And, uh, yeah, I think this is going to look good. All right. I guess it, we could do it over in Cambridge, do it on the other side. Like that. Might be the way to go. Okay. And so what you do, once you got it where you want it, you go over here and you just click export. And what do you want to call this area? We'll call it Cambridge. What is this? Uh, am I in Maryland? I'm going to say I'm in Maryland. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I'm in Maryland with the MDs there. Let's zoom out. Yeah. Yep, I'm in Maryland right there. All right, so we're just just on the other side of Washington, D.C., our lovely capital with a bunch of lovely, lovely, wonderful, gorgeous people. There's no sarcasm there at all. None. <laughs> okay, so once you got that... um. Obviously, you're just going to download into wherever you have your browser 
download things typically. Uh, it's just basically initiates a download of that. And uh, one thing to note, and um, we'll, we'll see if this happens here, sometimes you do get some glitching. So um, if the server is down, oh, oh I'm going to have to, here. There's my Discord thing, although uh, Nuki Duke has already posted it for people. Uh, but there's it again. And it also allows me to click on this. So my, just go to downloads, and there it is. And so I'm going to go ahead and unzip this. I'm just going to unzip it right there. Oh, cancel. I don't want to browse. I just want to extract. Get it out. Okay. So you got a bunch of different uh, maps that you can use, and you could always go into like a Photoshop, uh, go to, go into Photoshop or some sort of uh, image editor, and you can alter this at will as long as you uh, have a, a sense of what you're doing. And I'm just gonna like literally just open this up just so you can get it, uh, a sense of what's going on here. So the darker areas are lower and the lighter areas are, or the brighter areas are higher. And so it just is, it, this is what's called a height map. And the height map is going to tell the uh, game uh, where, how the terrain should go. And so the smoother the gradient, the smoother the slope. And uh, like right here, it's going to be a pretty jarring uh it's not going to be a slope, it's just going to be a step. It's going to be high and then lower. And so when you get it into the game, you'll see in a second, we're, we're going to um, we're going to smooth that out a little bit. Okay, now, now we got all that going on. Let's get into the game. Here we are. Got the game proper. Now, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go into Editors. And then you're going to go into the map editor, and you're going to go new, load, doesn't matter. I'd go with new. Um, you got built-in themes. You could always create your own themes, and if you got mods, you can do even more stuff. But we're not going to talk about that today. This is all vanilla. Uh, I do have some really basic visual mods going on. I don't know how they're going to affect in here, because honestly, I haven't used them in uh, the map editor yet. But we're going to go ahead and load that up and see what we got going on let's i'm going to do a quick check of the server health while we're loading make sure our or the the stream health make sure everybody's copacetic it looks like that which is fantastic all right and looks like all of our limits are well well below since we only have one of certain things and zero of everything else all right and so here they give you a, a nice little guide oh uh, let's go ahead and click it back open they give you a nice little guide about what you're going to need even if you're uh so there's a couple different ways i'm going to show you if you're like you say you know what i don't want to go to terrain i just want to make my own map i want to make a big smiley face you can also use height maps if you know how to do a video editor to do that um, should you want to and uh, that's all well and good you also uh, you have a night and day slider so you can kind of see we need to orient ourselves and I obviously I have fog turned off that's one of the visual mods I have but I want to see so that is going to be east this is east that's west all right and if you're wanting to just make your own map, then what you're going to do is you're going to, you know, go over here and you're going to use the different brushes and what have you to to make different terrains and what have you. Okay, and I'm not going to do all that. I I have done that in the past, and there are different methods to go about that. Um, you know, I might. Uh, do a video one day on how I like to landscape in game, but honestly, right now uh, I'm I'm not interested in doing that, so we're not going to do it unless somebody asks me to. If you have a question about that, just uh, put it in the comments, 
And uh, if you have it in the live chat here, I'll, I'll answer the question live. If not, I'll, I'll do what I can after the fact. Uh, you go to Discord, you can ask me any question there too. And we'll have other people there to, to help you out like Nuki Duke here. All right, so what are we going to do to get that height map in? So I think it is, bear with me, import height map right there. So we're going to go import height map. And I have all of these height maps from another place, but where's the one that we just did? So there's Jackson, Wyoming. That is literally the height map that I used for that whole series. You can see we got all the mountains over here, and it's really cool looking. Um, but where's the one that we set up? So uh, you got to put it in the right folder. And see, right here, you, you got the folder. And so this is where you need to go. So instead of trying to navigate and all this stuff through all this stuff here, uh, I, I purposefully didn't do that before because you can just click right there and bam, it's it's up for you. And then I can go and open up another window here and I can stick them side by side or however you like to do it. Uh, well, if I can grab it, there we go. And I'm going to, I got my Cambridge height map right there. That's quick access, but I don't want to do that. No, bear with me. Where's my downloads? There it is. Okay, I found it. And I thought I'd unzip this thing. Let's do this uh, sort by name. There it is. Okay. So you you see all these are the merged ones. Now you can use some of the other ones. Basically, what this is is this is the height map based on uh, the where they got it from. So there's different data sets coming from different places. You got the, the USGS, which is the United States Geological Society. Um, they they are they have some of the best maps uh, in the nation as far as uh, in real life, if you're going to use uh, a USGS to, to, to survey a, a certain area, uh, they've, they've done the work for you a lot of times. And it's one of the best resources. Um, when I've done uh, some site planning in my 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 real life, but uh, you, I typically I just use merge because the data can vary between the uh, between them and some of it is not as complete. And uh, when it's merged, it tends to just be better. So I'm just going to bring the merged over here, and you can notice uh, you can tell that all the other places Colorado Springs, uh, Crested Butte, Colorado, uh, Del Norte, Colorado. Uh, Des Moines, New Mexico, Jackson, Wyoming, and Lamar Ca County, uh, which is in New Mexico, I believe, uh, if my memory serves. But I, I honestly don't remember. Maybe that's uh, Wyoming. Oh, actually, I think it's either Wyoming or Northern Colorado. I, I honestly, I don't recall. It's been what like a year and a half since I did that. So. Um, but you can see these are all in the mountains, and so they're a lot brighter because they're going to be higher in elevation. And this is a lot darker because it's a lot lower in elevation. So we got that over there now. Um, we can go ahead and close all that out. And uh, let's see, we got Cambridge right there. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and import that. And bingo, just like magic, we have now, I mean, it wasn't that easy. That wasn't too hard. That wasn't too bad, right, guys? Um, we have a map. Now, you'll say, well, yes, we got a map, but uh, there's something wrong with it, right? Because we don't have any water. And, and if you look, the water is coming in. It is coming in in a tsunami, but we don't want it to be a tsunami. So what we're going to do is we're just going to reset water to sea level. There we go. And... Uh, there you go. Everything's pretty flat here. So uh, what I like to do sometimes is I'm going to set water, the water level, just just down, way down. And I'm not going to keep it there. But I'm just going to do that for now. Go ahead, reset. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. There we go. Hi, I'm Christopher. I swear I know what I'm doing when I'm, when I'm making a video about how to do stuff. I, I promise. Okay. So, 
I'm going to set that to like 10. And then reset the water to sea level. And that worked the way I expected it to. Okay. So if, uh, my problem was I was I was on this and not on that. So we got the water down. Now what we want to do is we want to smooth this out a little bit. I mean, wouldn't you say? I think it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit jagged and, and abrupt, which uh, is something I knew would happen. Now, you want to be somewhat careful with this. I mean, it, it's picking up every little thing. And if you're not careful, you can really uh, ruin your your coastline here. But it, it does need a little bit of work, in my opinion. Maybe you, can, you could leave it like that, and, and it would work but then you're going to have a lot of flooding and things like that and um, it's also just not going to look I think as nice so we're going to get your leveling or, or I'm sorry not the level yeah that's the level we want the soften tool and we're going to go to brush size we're going to adjust that I think we're going to go with uh, more of a, a soft brush not such a, a hard brush and um, we're also going to take the strength down we don't want to go crazy on it we just want to um, kind of smooth it out a little bit. Now, you can tell, like, right here, it's so square that this is probably, like, a very urban coastline right here. But, you know, we're not going to be building way out at the edge of the map. Um, even if you have the 81 tiles mod, you probably shouldn't be building out towards the edge of the map because it tends to glitch more, uh, at least in my experience. But, you know, you do what you want, buddy. Need to import it. That was a few minutes ago. Did I did I do what you were asking me to do, Nuki Duke? When you say you need to import it, I think I think I finally got there. Waiting for Nuki Duke to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you were just you were just too too eager weren't you uh, you you, you got to be patient with me man i'm 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 a, I'm, a, I'm not the fastest i, I can't speak whales you, you got to be patient with me a little bit man <laughs> so we're just we're literally going to go through and I'm, I'm just giving it a really light touch you could you could go heavier if you wanted to but just a real light touch you also got to remember that uh, since this is, I'm, I'm keeping this life, like if you did this all paused and then you let it rip, you're going to have a lot of waves going on in your, your water and that can, that can affect things. Uh, it can be fun to watch, but it, it can also be annoying if you're trying to get things done. So we're going to soften all of this up. Obviously this, the, er, the, the, the square urbanness of it is going to go away. But we can add that back later with our own quays. And, and, you know, the point of it is to not, I mean, some, some people, they like to replicate existing cities. And I think that's actually, it's incredibly cool when they can do that. I, I am not sure that I've ever tried that. Um, I'm more like, I want to do my own thing. Um, I want to take, I love having the real, um, you know, this, this it, to me is so much easier than trying to figure out how to do this on your own. Um, you know, getting all the subtleties of the land is just so difficult, uh, at least for me, that it's it's so much nicer just taking real terrain. And, you know, I loved that I was able to play like Jackson Hole. That That is one of my favorite places in the world. I love that I got to, you know, build a city worthy of the, the location, though. Honestly, I don't mind that there's not a big city over there. I don't want a big city. I, I like it that it's nice and isolated. Smoothing out our coast here, so I think uh, I'm 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 definitely going to be done at about noon because I have some real life stuff to attend to with my son's school. So the big question while I'm doing this that we need to be thinking about is: should I? I think I'll be able to get this finished 
relatively quickly. It shouldn't take too long because I'm not going to do like any super crazy detailing or anything like that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll show you how to do everything and then, you know, I'll leave it to you to actually use your imagination on how to do the whole map. I'm not going to do a whole map right now just because I think there are other things we can do. I got, I got a couple, uh, aces up my sleeve, but Nuki Duke, since, uh, I, th and if there's anybody else in the, I think it says there's a second person there. Anybody got any ideas on what you'd like to see me do later on once I'm done with this? Anybody? Bueller. Bueller. Still no, no thoughts? So I have a thought. Um, I, I, and it, continue to go ahead and type your thought, thought in if I'm not being patient enough for you, but I have a thought. I um, saw this new game that people have been playing, and I went ahead and I bought it. Tried to have this city themed around transport, bus, ferry, train, everything. I don't understand what you mean. You like keep the, keep the whole game city themed. Is that what you're trying to say? I don't understand. I need to have you like live chatted in. We need to like have you skyped in, buddy. Have have somebody for me to, to play off of. I am actually. Uh, this is a totally unrelated and probably the opposite. Of, um. So you want me to actually like build a city, huh? Okay, I can do that. I can actually build the city. But um. What I was gonna say is I actually am in the it's in the works, so it's not finalized yet, but. I'm probably going to be starting a podcast for the Mars Society, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, I'll be counting on all you guys to uh, come and watch me bloviate with uh, some really intelligent people that know what they're talking about, about space. It's going to be, it's not going to be purely about Mars. Uh, obviously, the main focus of the Mars Society is to have uh, humans on Mars uh, in 10 years. And the ultimate goal is to colonize Mars because we need to be a multi-planet species. And uh, I volunteer with them. I, I do a little bit of volunteer work. Nothing uh, super special. Um, and so first of all, if you are interested in doing something like that, uh, get in touch with me. I can definitely uh, get you the right hookup. And, you know, it doesn't take somebody that knows a lot about space or science or anything like that. All you got to do is have a skill and, and sometimes uh, not even that much, just have some basic knowledge and we can get you hooked up. Uh, that was a shameless plug to, to join the Mars society and volunteer. But that being said, uh, this, uh, podcast that I'm going to do, we're going to be talking about just any, any, all in an all space news. So, um, like, if we had already started it, I think what we would have done is we would have had some sort of, uh, you got to love how the water goes once you've gone through a space. All right. I'm going to smooth it out just a little bit more right here. Just really get it uh, a nice, smooth beach going on here. I'm sorry. I, it's hard for me to do too many things at once. I'm. What are you not up for, Nuki Duke? Uh, being part of the Mars Society. How old are you, buddy? If you don't mind everybody in the world knowing by everybody in the world like the the three people that are going to watch this hmm. 
Yeah, you're 18 years old. You're you're plenty old enough. Um, so what's what, what would stop you, man? I mean, I can tell you right now that uh, you have skills that we need. Uh, you absolutely have skills that we need because um, you know how to navigate uh, the public sphere, and we need people to help us. Um, get the get the word out and and somebody that's really savvy when it comes to uh, social media and stuff like that. You got all that, man. You got that better than I have it. Like I have some knowledge based bit more than uh, the people that some of the people I'm working with. But you you kick my butt when it comes to that stuff. So and and I I don't hardly even know you, and I know that you already got me beat there. So um, if that's the only thing stopping you. And here's the thing: you don't have to be the best at whatever it is you're gonna do. Uh, we, we'll, we'll, you know, you when you, you volunteer, they, they they ask you the question. So, what what is it that you'd like to do? And then you say, well, you know, I'm I like what I said is I really like to do um, videos. I, I I have my YouTube here, and I, I really like to uh, to do graphic design and stuff like that. You know. You see my channel trail, um, or, or my channel art and stuff like that. I, I was, I made that. I mean, obviously, I didn't make all of that art myself because that comes from uh, the the. Um, I'm blanking on the cartoon. What's the cartoon? <laughs> Rick and Morty. Wow. Uh, I I should have more sleep than I do right now. Um, obviously, I didn't do the Rick and Morty artwork, uh, but I I assembled that all together to make it look like that and I love doing that kind of thing and I've made all kinds of different things for like the PTO and stuff and um, so they they have me doing that for the Mars Society so they put me in a place that makes sense for where I want to be so they're not going to overtax you um, unless you let them and you know you don't have to be the best at it in the world I'm certainly not the best at anything that I do for them but it doesn't matter because you're the one that's you're, you're there and you're showing up you're saying uh, you know, I, I love Mick, Rick and Morty too, buddy. It, it is the best thing since toilet paper. I'm telling you. And I like toilet paper a lot. I'm a fat boy, so I, I need my toilet paper. So. All right. I really like that, how that coastline's going. But anyway, so this pod, I'm, 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 I'm jumping, I'm, I'm trying to to remember my train of thought because I have like three or four going right now and uh with my ADHD it's it's you know squirrel squirrel what so uh with the podcast it's um it's gonna be pretty cool we're gonna talk about space so like if we had it live already well we would have done like a live stream uh when Elon Musk and and SpaceX did their their first uh crew mission i mean it's not a it wasn't a crewed mission but it was the first uh dragon 2 mission to the space station which i think was uh really cool um and i'm all into that stuff which is one of the reasons why i'm part of the mars society right and um you know we would have talked about what the implications of that were was for uh getting to mars as well as just uh for humans in general uh and you know we would talk about uh the lander from Israel landing on the moon and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, I also, uh, probably we will have Pobble Wee. I, I sound like I'm from uh, Princess Bride. Uh, I really, I'm not that old, I swear. <laughs> I feel that old, but I'm not that old. But uh, no, 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 we, we're going to uh, have other guest speakers uh, every once in a while. Um there's a really wonderful person named Lucinda uh, from, uh, she's not from London, but she lives in London right now, and she runs the Mars Society UK, and uh, she is uh, super, uh, she can speak super intelligently about uh, all kinds of cool stuff regarding space and Mars and all that kind of thing, and um, we also got uh, Dr. Zubrin, of course, who is kind of the, the patron and uh, the what would you call him? He's the face of Mars Society. He's he's the guy that started it. Um, obviously, there were a lot of other founding members, but he's kind of been the most passionate, the most outspoken, and that's kind of his personality. 
and I'm actually going to go up to see him and uh, make a couple of videos with him uh, next week. It's going to be a week and a half from now, which is kind of scary. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty cool. So getting our coast going here. I know I'm, I, I've been talking about space and Mars and all this stuff, and I really, uh, you came to, to talk about cities and, and building these landscapes. The thing is, is this is just a time-consuming thing, right? And I'm doing a live stream. It's not like I can just cut like I would in a video. So, I don't know. Maybe it was stupid of me to do this in a live stream. Uh, maybe maybe that's, that's on me. But, um, you know, there's nothing anything crazy to what I'm doing right now. I just, I got the smoother, I, I set my settings, and, you know, you just kind of do it. And you notice I'm not, I'm not worried too much about making it perfect. I'm just kind of throwing it up there. Um, oh, what'd you miss? What'd you miss? You didn't miss much. I haven't, I'm, I'm just sitting up here killing time. What are you talking about? You didn't miss anything. You missed me doing like a little bit of coast here and and talking about how I I I I don't know I don't even know what you missed because I didn't notice that you were gone until like two minutes before you showed back up. Anyway, so you know you just set your settings you you throw it up there I'm not I'm not being too careful with it I'm just kind of um, throwing out. So actually, it's actually, for me, this is it's kind of like painting or something like that. It's just, um, it's it's very low thought process. And so you can kind of, for me, relax. It's one of the reasons I like this game. So, like, I used to be huge into games like Halo and Call of Duty and all these games um, from the early 2000s when I was, uh, had more time and, not necessarily more time, I have the time now, but... Uh, had more penchant for those kinds of games. And those were very popular. And there are a lot of games that are much more popular, I think, than uh, City Skylines uh, and these types of games. But I'll tell you what, uh, I got a real life. I got a wife. I got a kid. My kid is non-neurotypical. And, and, you know, with all the stresses of life, I've, I, I've started and... and uh, shut down two different businesses in my lifetime. And with all the stress of life, I don't want to play one of those games because for me, it's it, it doesn't relax me. I want to play a game that relaxes me. I want to play a game that scratches my creative itch. And City Skylines is one of those games. And the games that I typically will be playing on these uh, uh, videos and these live streams are going to be those types of games because... You know, I, I there's so much stress in my life. I don't I don't need any more from a video game. Like I wanted the video game to relax me, and I don't have any rage. I don't. I'm not angry, so I don't have the need to. I was much more angry when I was a younger guy uh, in high school and college and stuff like that. So games like Halo and Call of Duty those made more sense for me back then. But nowadays I'm not angry. I got a, a beautiful wife. I got a wonderful life, and. Uh, I just want to be able to relax and, and wind down. And uh, also, I, I love the creative uh, the create the creative aspect of creating videos. Um, uh, I'm not saying I'm the best at it. I still got a lot to learn. But uh, you know, every single day I'm learning something, I'm figuring something out. Um, and uh, you know, that's what it's all about. That's what life is all about. You know, it's not about being worried about failure. It's about trying to figure out how to make it today and do the best you can and then when you screw up you just say okay what what do I got to do to not make that happen again or to prevent that from happening again or to do better next time a little philosophy for you while you watch me paint I feel like I, I you know what I need a fro I, I know I'm bald but I need a fro like Bob Rob no bleh, Bob Ross you know you know maybe you Maybe you have a little shoreline here, and you know you gotta whack the brush and all that good stuff. What do you think? You don't have enough horsepower with your CPU yet. 
I tell you what, man, uh, the minute that you get a CPU and, and, and don't rush it, you get a CPU and you're ready to start making videos. You let me know, and we're gonna we're gonna make shit happen, okay, buddy? Oop, uh, I'm sorry. I, I try to make this a PG uh, thing, but uh, sometimes my adultness slips through. So call it PG-13, and uh, you know, I'd let my kid watch this, but that's just me. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'm still swifty. You shifty. <laughs> we 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 were we were taking that a little bit too far the other day, weren't we? I was having fun with it though. Yeah, when I when I first when you threw me into creating that, uh, <laughs> I don't like the player though, because player doesn't is not in my lexicon it's not part of my <laughs> vernacular it doesn't sound right to me you can say it all you want though just because i don't like saying it doesn't mean you have to stop playa <laughs> just so stupid coming out of my mouth i tell you what if if it's only you and me that ever see this video I'm just fine with that because I'm having a good time. Uh, I really am. It's nice and relaxing. There's not a lot of stress. I'm forgetting about all the crap that's going on in my life right now. <laughs> There's plenty. Let me tell you. All right, we made it all. We made it all the way around. Holy crap! Okay. Uh, looks like we got a couple other places over here. Um, I'm gonna leave those, and uh, I'll probably I'll finish them another time when we, you know, I don't know. I gotta do it. Fuck it. There it goes again. I just I just slipped again. See, I can edit that stuff out when I do it. <laughs> I can edit that stuff out when I do it in a video. Live is a whole nother beast, man. I really I'm gonna have to get on my my A game over here. Oi. Like like I will definitely bleep that out for my um for the version that stays online, but Oh, you're virgin ears. I'm so sorry for you, man. <laughs> okay, was I gotta I gotta see what you're saying. All this space stuff reminds me of Lifeline, a mobile game series where you make choices and guide a stranded person on space. Okay, there are a, a couple. Uh, there's a lot of like space survival games out there. Um, I don't know half of them or even like uh, 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 most of them uh you know the the only space game that really gets me uh happy is i i shouldn't say only but the the one that uh has definitely been uh the dominant force in in my gaming has been kerbal space program because it's not about, and it's just like this. It's not about, you know, oh my God, you got to survive and the aliens coming to get you and, you know, there's a conspiracy and, you know. I don't, I, I want something that's real. And, um, I, I'm not, I, I'm not docking on this game. I'm sure this game was, it was really cool. I don't know. You tell me, was it cool? But, uh, In any case, I, I like I like super hyper realism and you know real life tends to be weirder than the stuff that people come up with uh, for for a story. You know, you take like a Apollo thirteen, you know, and it, that that was such a that there there's plenty of drama there, but it, it wasn't a big thing. It was like you know, so. They, they mixed a tank and they, they they screwed up some of the engineering and it blew up and they and, and the rest was all you needed like that was all you needed you didn't need a, a big alien spaceship coming to, to attack or something crazy just something blew up and, and now now you got to get home and it's the farthest humans have ever been from earth which I think is a travesty not at the time you know I think that's great for them but it's kind of ridiculous that that happened. I think in 1972, 
don't, don't quote me on that, but 1972, and that's certainly before I was born, uh, you know, that was, you're 18 years old, so you weren't even born last century, last millennium. This is the only century or millennium you know, which is, makes me feel old, dude. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, that was that was a good solid 28 years before the millennium even started. A good 30 years before you were born, dude, at 18 years old. And we haven't even approached going that far again with men. And that's that's one of the things that really kills me. You didn't see it that way. <laughs> I know you gotta have gotta have a, a little perspective every once in a while, right? It, 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 I mean, back when they when they did Apollo thirteen or doing Apollo eleven and landed on the moon, uh, I think the last moon landing was seventy six. Again, don't quote me on the, all this stuff. This is all me going from my very flawed memory, but you know, all that happened. Way before PCs, I mean, they had computers back then, but, like, they had the Foran, okay? So, a computer took up a room, and I'm not talking about, like, a bedroom, like the one I'm in right now, or something like that. I'm talking about, like, the size, the computer, computers were the size of the floor plan of my house, okay? You know, they took up a couple thousand square feet of real estate in a building. They had to be especially cool and all this stuff and you know telephones were, were really basic there was no such thing as a cell phone let alone a, a mobile device like what we have today with the little mobile computers we got in our pockets today the calculator that i used growing up before i had a cell phone let alone the the phone that you got in your pocket was more powerful than the computer they had on the, the landers for the moon to give you an idea I mean it had like 18 bits of RAM or some something stupid low like that I mean not 18 megabytes not 18 kilobytes 18 bytes <laughs> it's like there's more information in the image that they use to color the green on this landscape than they had to go to the moon. It's kind of ridiculous. All right. Oh, I got to get this one here. Okay. I'll get this one to you. Now, we'll never see that, so who cares? It's outside of the dotted lines. It's outside of the dotted lines. I'm not going to care about it. All right. That's my new mantra. If it's outside the dotted lines, I don't care. Okay. So, we've done our shoreline. You could obviously change the landscape as you as you wish with the other landscaping tools. I tend to not mess with it too much. Um, even with stuff like this, it'll it'll all work out fine. And then you got to put your ground resources and you got to put your forest right now. The ground resources, it's real simple. You just you're painting. Um, some people get really detailed with it and do a great job. I'm t typically like, okay, I, I, I typically, what I do since I'm making a map, I'm going to go ahead and start planning my city. All right. So I think in real life, the city was sitting, uh, right in this area here. Um, and you had a big freeway that came across and there was a bridge that was somewhere, somewhere over here. I don't remember exactly where it doesn't matter because I'm not going to do uh, exactly what's real life you can um, there's even mods that you can download to where you can you know have a picture of, of the the road system or whatever a map and you can trace the road and all that stuff I don't I don't mess with all that but um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say okay where do I want my industry and so what I would say is you know I'm gonna have my uh, We're gonna go ahead and do our ship ship lane here. We're gonna start it there, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the curve on it. And we're gonna have it come in this way. 
And you know what? We're going to have it go all the way through because I bet you in real life it does. It goes all the way through. Oh, it's out of the editing area. There we go. So we have a ship lane that goes all the way through. And... Uh, What that means is I can I can put uh, shipping anywhere along here, but I think you know I'm going to think this is Chesapeake Bay is just like right out here, and this is more, that's going more inland, and so I'm thinking I want my industry over here so it's as close to proper shipping as possible. Playing city skylines on the moon, I would love to, and there was a. SimCity 2000 had a a version of it where you could literally, and I think uh, SimCity 4 as well. Um, they they made they modified both games uh, to be able to play on Mars, and you know it was the same game, but you know you basically you you you'd lay out little tubed roads, and then you'd have little Mars huts build. And it was kind of a neat concept. At the same time, I didn't find it as fun because um, I don't think it's quite how it would work. Um, I've actually done a little bit of design work on the first Mars colony as part of a competition for the Mars Society. And uh, it, 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 anyway, um, it would it is a fun fun thing. And then you got um, Survive Mars or not Survive Mars. That there that is a game, but that's not the game I'm thinking of. <laughs> It's um, I think, is it Take on Mars, or is it Surviving Mars? It's one of those two. I forget which one uh, is which. One one's more like a first or third person survival game, and one's like a a a strategy game, kind of Age and Empires. Not that you build like um, you don't build armies and fight each other, but you you build up a colony and you got to have your your little things and. So you can actually get that itch scratched. Um, now about Skype, I don't have a mic on my PC, so I can't talk voice, but I can talk plain text and type in Skype. Dude, you could get a microphone for like four bucks. Four bucks on Amazon. Now, I know you're 18 and you might not have a whole lot of cash to you, but four bucks you can get a microphone. Come on, dude. You, you, you got to be able to do that. Don't don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm get I'm get I'm I'm gonna get you going. You gotta practice on my uh, doing it with me so that when you uh yeah I know you know you gotta practice with me so that when uh you get your own page going you already have all your mistakes made. You make them on my my page no big deal, and then when you're building your brand your your brand will go that much faster. You're, you you have skills that I don't have, or your skills are more prodigious than mine when it comes to building brands. So um, we're going to get you hooked up. But anyway, what was I doing? I lost my train of thought. I, I, I don't mind talking to you, but what, what was I talking about, bud? Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have my – I'm going to put my industry on this side so that um, it, it'll be closest to uh, the shipping lane going out. And then – I think my city center, I'm going to stick it right where uh, it was in real life. And then, you know, we'll, we'll probably have, like, I'll, I'll probably have a couple other coastal cities. Uh, and maybe, like, another one over here and over here. And I'd like to see maybe one inland or something like that. Now, you see here, uh, this is really, what this is, this is a river that comes in. This is uh, in real life. That's what that is, and it doesn't really show up as well because the river just follows the flow of the land. Now, I like uh, I don't like low uh, sea level maps to make rivers um, unless you're doing a river like this. Um, but I love mountain maps to make rivers because they work so well. I mean, they really, really work well. Um, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go back here to make this river. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a flowing river here. Um, and we're going to have to lower this just a, just, just a, just a tinge. In fact, I'm just going to go to level tool. And I'm going to right click 
on the level that I want to do it at. So my terrain hat is at 41.47. That's just a hair above 40 where sea level is going to end up being, okay? And we're going to go and we're going to follow this. And we're going to kind of ink this out a little bit so that it's pretty clear where that water is supposed to flow because we're, we're, we're going to be using the water dynamics that are built into the game, and they're not exactly the same as it would be in real life. I mean, they're, it's better than any game I've ever seen before, especially considering that you get to create your own river. I mean, it's amazing. I'm not complaining by any means, but it, it does have its limitations all, all the same. And so you gotta, you just gotta be cognizant of that. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and create a water. And, and look, water's flowed on in there. Um, so we're gonna go pause the game. I'm gonna create a water source here. Now your water capacity you could do, um, obviously one, and uh, a lot of times I'll use fifty. Depends on how big your river is. This is a really small little stream, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it with twelve for now. I'm going to go ahead and click it um, back here. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, once I've clicked it, I'm going to lower it down. And then I need to actually go back here, and I need a level. Oh, uh, Control-Z. Control-Z, I, I, I was able to undo. Um, I need a level tool. And then I'm going to right-click here. I'm going to level this out here. The reason I'm going to do that is I don't want my water that I just put in here from this to flow off the map. That, that doesn't help me at all. And nobody's going to be seeing the edge of the map unless they get the 81 tiles mod. And then they, they should expect to see some things that they're not supposed to see because they're going outside the boundaries of the normal game. So you got to set that and you, you can raise and lower it. And don't be afraid to raise it up a little bit above... Um, sometimes because it doesn't always go but I'm going to start off low and I can always raise it and then I'm going to press three and and see what it does right and it's going to always flood a little bit at first uh, it, there's just no getting around that and so I'm going to raise it up just a, a tinge and I think that ought to be enough and so I'm just going to let that play out for a little while all right, and you can go and do something else, um, or if you're really worried about it, you can just sit here and watch it, which is usually what I got to do. Um, and you got to see the, you know, you got some water flow coming now, right? And what you really want to just avoid is you don't want it to just start flowing out over the landscape, because if it starts doing that, uh, you're you're kind of screwed, um, and you're gonna have to start over. And this can be a difficult thing, and Another thing that people will tend to do is they'll make their rivers really wide and really long and really flat. And they'll start getting waves in their river. And so your river isn't consistent in it. It's kind of... Once the basin things are set up, you can go into detailing if you want. What are you talking about, dude? I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about water. This is a big thing uh, in making maps is making a good river. Why, why, why are you on in my case, man? Why are you going to do that to me, man? I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just going to keep going. Um, so you got these big waves coming through your, your river, and uh, it could be... Oh, you, you want to talk about? Like, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about doing the rocks and stuff right now. Uh, I'm just talking about how to get a successful river going. So, um, see, it's not quite working, right? Uh, my river has puttered out, so that means my water source is not uh, enough. So I need to either raise it up a little bit. Let's see about raising it up a little bit. That might be too much. See, it's flowing off the map there. But it, it stopped, and so it's not too much, all right? So let's see how that, that flows. That's going to be a surge of water. But, you know, when you get the waves, um, 
going through, and it's usually a lot wider than what I, I have here. Um, what you're going to need to do is you're just going to need to take another water source. And so, like, take this waterfall, for example. Um, uh, waterfall is another great example of where you're going to want to have uh, some control over what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to pause it real quick. You're going to put another water source here, and you're going to sink it down as low as you can go. And then um, watch what that does. It sucks that water up. So these are not just water producers. They're also water drains, essentially. And so they, they create water, but they also suck it in, depending on uh, where it's at compared to, to the level. And obviously, I don't want that for here, but there's a lot of places where that's going to do you good. And so to when you have the waves going down your river, if, if you're having that issue, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, use these to control that by by putting it at the level that you want the river and basically when the river is going smooth you don't need to do it as soon as that river starts having turbulence you stick one of these uh, at the height that uh, is going to make it do what you want it to do and you're going to need to just play with it a little bit and then uh, as it, you let the river flow for a little bit and we'll go ahead and do that and then if it uh, starts creating waves again down the line, then you put another one of these. And um, that is how you control your water in such a way, make a river in such a way that it flows well, um, and you don't have those big waves coming. Okay, so we're finally getting over the edge here. But I want it to push. So I'm, what I might have to do is I might just have to lower this. Um, I'm not sure. Well, it looks like we have another another wave coming so we'll wait for that wave to come you can see it's starting to go over to the over the landscape a little bit which is not good another way that you could do this again uh, a mountain map is so much easier to make this happen because it's up high and it just flows it just it just works uh, here I don't have gravity on my side and so it's it's kind of spreading out here and flooding the plane a little bit instead of going down this thing so what I'm gonna need to do I think is I'm gonna have to lower this down I need to really turn my brush strength down just 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 give it a little tap just tap 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 a roo a little tap 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 a roo all right and so I'm, I'm literally using the oh I want to use the level though use the level here I'm gonna lower this down just another just another little bit Here we go. Uh, come on. All right, come on. Mm, you know, and when it's this low, when you, your surrounding land is this low, you you might just have to. It's it's hard to get water flow to work. Um, usually, you're just gonna have sea level. Um, so this is might not might not have been the best map to grab to show you uh, some of the things I want to show you with a river, but let's see if that works. It's a little bit more well defined. Let's give that a little bit of time to to work. Is it gonna go? I think it's gonna go. Yes, it's working. It's working. Yay! Hello there. Welcome. I have no idea. It looks like, is that Korean? Uh, so, are you from Korea? How would, how would you say your name in English? Because I have no idea what I'm looking at with these Korean symbols. They look really cool. I don't know the first thing about Korean. From Japan. Oh, my apologies. My apologies. I don't know the first thing about Japanese either, though. Akayama Kikyu. Ak Akayama Kikyu? Did I say that decently well with my American Texan voice? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Sounds interesting. <laughs> if nothing else, <laughs> it is interesting. No, 
thank you so much for joining. Uh, welcome. Um, we are uh, just, well, I grabbed a map from terrain.party. Uh, this is uh, from around the east coast of um, America. And uh, we're, we're, we, we smooth, we, we did a little bit of smoothing on the coastline, and then now we are trying to create a river that is able to flow uh, but not be too uh, high. And one of the things you got to realize, too, is um, right now I have the sea level set at 10. We're going to raise that back up to 40 or so. And so um, we don't want the sea level to be, uh, this to be uh, below sea level, um, if at all possible. We might have to make it just a wee bit below sea level, it looks like. Yeah, that I might have to. I can't raise that up anymore though, because it's going to flood my planes. So it is working its way out here, but it's it's only going so far. So I'm going to have to lower this down. I think a little bit more even. So we're going to lower it down just a little bit more. I'm trying to keep the eye on the chat here too. this level up. I think uh, at this point, yeah, I'm at 26, so I'm definitely going to be below sea level. But hopefully, um, well, what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to, like, push it through the... I'm going to have to have enough water flow that it is still flow out. And there are a couple other tricks I got up my sleeve that I'll show you. Uh, when you have a really flat map like this to make it to where the water still flows for you. It's it's not as easy as when you have gravity on your side, but you know what? We gotta we gotta make lemon. We gotta take these lemons and make some lemonade. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, she found it from the city skylines topic. That's amazing. Uh, he just uh, it sounds like he just searched YouTube. Uh, is that is that right? Uh, Akiyama? Akiyama, do you have any specific questions on, on maps? Uh, if you have any specific questions, I'd love to be able to literally work to help you figure out whatever it is you're trying to figure out. All right, looks like we got some water going now. Ooh, what's this? Ah, that's some good information there. Okay, so we got the uh, river is starting to flow. And what I'm going to do to help encourage it is I think I'm going to add right before we entered the actual city, I think I'm going to add another one of these. I'll lower it down right about there. And see if that doesn't help speed the river up a bit. You're going to have some backflow at first. I think ultimately it ought to keep flowing this way uh, but we'll see how that works out see right now it's kind of fighting but it does also increase the water flow this way but what we want is we want the water that's coming this way to overpower this so what we might need to do is lower it down just a tinge just a tinge And that'll hopefully allow this water to overtake it and really have some good flow. You know, but looking right here, it's got some great flow going here. You know, so that water's really starting to come. And it'll be really interesting once we reset our water level, once we reset our, our sea level. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So we're going to go to sea level. I'm going to put that back 
I think I'm going to put it at like 37. 37. Not quite back to 40. All right. And so obviously that filled in my river here. So really my goal is just to have water flow. And that's what I'm hoping to do. And one of the ways I can do that also is at the mouth of this river. I can stick a a, a, a drain, if you will. Now, if I do it too much, it, it'll actually make it look funky. But I can also just do it like just below the surface of the sea level. Uh, sea level and you'll just see flow flowing towards it um, now you want to be careful with that because um, if you put like a water pump right here and then you have like your sewage over here that sewage is going to flow towards where you put your drain so you just want to keep that in mind um, thank thanks for that nuki duka appreciate you appreciate you as we say here in texas Man, my, my nose is starting to really bother me, too. Part of me. I had, a, I had to take care of that. Okay, so. Yeah, I think I like how the river's looking. It's flowing, and that's really my my main concern. I just want water flow. So that way, um, uh, if without flow for at least your river, it's really difficult to place um, pumps and sewage because you don't want your sewage to, to to get into your pumps so that's something you got to think about um, when you're making your rivers here so i think that's about we, we're about there man um now we just need new trees let's do some trees and we need we need to do our resources so but the next thing is i'm going to do some trees so you've got to pick what what kind of map is this? What kind of trees are going to be the the, the, the fundamental base of the game? And obviously you can go on the, um, uh, and, and download all kinds of great trees. And there's a the Forest Brush mod, which is the, really, it's it, for, for doing trees, it is the best thing ever. Um, it really is amazing. Obviously I'm doing vanilla. And so we're going to be more simple. Now, I like to have a much bigger brush size. I like to have a much more uh, stronger brush for trees. And you got to think to yourself, okay, is there any place that's not going to have trees? Are you going to have, is this all forested, um, the entire map? Or is it just like, uh, are you going to have just little groves of trees? And I think um, realistically, if, we're, if this is Maryland, um, you're just going to have groves of trees. You're not going to have an entire forest here. There might have been once upon a time, but certainly not anymore. And I don't think naturally, just because uh, there are periodic floods, like when hurricanes come and stuff like that. Um, not, not. Uh, I wouldn't say periodic, but every once in a while enough that you're not going to have a forest. So I'm just going to throw in some trees here. And I just kind of clicked and let it fly. And uh, since we got the, the, the sun so low, Let's do it like that. Oh, that looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, that makes it much easier to see where I'm putting my trees. And I'm not using the big old crazy trees. I'm just using you know, the simple... These are the sugar maples. And they're very commonly used in uh, the assets as well. And I'm just throwing some sprinkles here. I'm not going to make a huge forest. Um, you know, when you're making a few forests, you can just kind of nail it down. And you don't want to just do it inside the the confines of your map you obviously want to go outside the confines of the map as well um because people will be able to see outside and uh, you want it to kind of make some sense right and i'm just throwing a, a smattering of them i'm not going too crazy with it And I'm almost finished because of the light. You know, a dab will do you sometimes when you're you're doing this kind of thing. And obviously I could do up to 250,000 uh, trees. And you could obviously do some of the smaller brushes. So you might throw some small brushes in 
and and around places. And the nice thing about uh, doing small bushes, if you don't want to have a big forest look, but you still want to do um, industry, uh, logging industry, or what's it called, forestry, um, then you can still use the this uh, these little b bushes here, and they they don't really make it look like you're having a, a whole lot of crazy forest here, but it still counts. Now, next thing to do is our resource. I think that's good. You know, it's just a smattering of trees, nothing crazy. I could go and do a couple of other varieties, and I do encourage you to do it, especially with a deciduous forest. You're gonna have you know, oaks and sugar maples and uh, all kinds of different varieties. They're very mixed. And in a pine forest, it's usually more, um, there, there's usually a lot less uh, diversity. It's usually much more mono uh, species. I don't know. I can't think of the word I want to say. Okay, so now we're going to do fertile land. I always like to do this like along coasts because uh, along a river, you're going to have more fertile land because the land... Um, does flood every once in a while and and, it, and it's also very close to that water source um particularly when, if you think like the nile river or something like that um it's it's not just the fact that you have moisture but it's also the fact that you have all of the the leftovers of the animal life and and what have you inside the water that really um affects how fertile land is because uh land requires certain chemistry to be um, suitable for growing uh, plants. Plants require soil, not dirt. The difference between dirt and soil, uh, this is uh, going to be some, some science education for you here. The difference between dirt and soil is dirt is basically regolith. Uh, you know, on the moon there's regolith, there's no, um, and really I, I should, I, I, I'm, I'm oversimplifying. Dirt and regolith are actually two different things as well. Regolith is what you'd find on the moon. Um, any surface where you have very light to no atmosphere. And what's basically happening is all the big rocks that are on the surface of the body are, are being pummeled by micrometeorites all the time and big meteorites and all kinds of things. And so they get broken into tiny little shards. Um, so think, you know, you take a rock and you crack it, it kind of makes a really jagged, sharded edge. But now you, you shrink that down to the size of a grain of sand, and it's really coarse, and it really just tears up anything. It's much coarser than the sand that we have on our beaches here on Earth. And then dirt is basically just um, small small rock, essentially, is what dirt is. Um and it's a bit of an oversimplification, but you get what I'm saying. And then beyond that, you have soil. And really what makes soil different from dirt is you have phosphorus and you have um, potassium. And you have all these other minerals and you have living uh, organisms, uh, bacteri certain bacteria and um, fungi and things like that, that have a symbiotic relationship with the plants that grow in it. So if you don't have the right bacteria, so, so something like uh, Mars, like you say, you looked at uh, the movie The Martian. You know, he, he just, he took some uh, poop, he threw it into the, the ground, and then he planted a, a potato right on top and it grew. And not to say that that's impossible, that it, it is possible, but if you wanted to have a much more complex uh, biosphere, of plants growing on the surface of Mars at some point in the future, um, what you're going to really have to do is you're going to have to develop the soil. The soil is going to be the key, I think. It's going to be the harder part of it. Uh, the atmosphere is going to be pretty hard, too. Um, but we're assuming we get the atmosphere problems figured. The next big problem is going to be getting soil because you're going to have bacteria that can survive. And it's the, not just any bacteria, but the right kind of bacteria for the plants that are you're trying to grow. Some plants are more hardy than others, um, but uh, that's why uh, that's a that's a really long-winded way of saying that's why I put my fertile land next to my coastlines and my rivers. <laughs> okay, oh, thank thank you for for the compliment, Nuki Dude. 
Um, now, uh, let's do some oil. So where would we have oil? What oil is, is basically it's dead animals. So honestly, if we had oil here, it'd be everywhere. But let's just say, um, just for the sake of planning my city, I wouldn't mind having like oil just over here like that. Um, so you got to literally go across the, uh, the bay here or across the... I don't know if this is a bay or not. I, I guess technically at this point it's a river. It's just a really wide river. Uh, you got to go across the river to get to the oil. Um, yeah. So it'll be a bit of a later game uh, resource. And then you have the ore here. Honestly, I wouldn't mind not having ore on this map to be realistic. But I also like to, to play my game with all the resources. So I'm going to just throw some ore randomly right there. And call that a day. All right. And then uh, you got the fertile land and you got your forest with the trees. So you got all your resources. Um, you know, and it looks pretty natural looking, right? I mean, it doesn't look too crazy, even with the ugliness of the different color schemes that the, the vanilla game gives you. It doesn't look too bad. So... We, we got our topography figured out, which is, you know, where the landforms are. We got our river uh, coastline figured out. We got our river figured out. And then we put our trees down. Then we put our resources down. The next step is to go ahead and get our connections. Now, I already did one uh, in the form of this uh, shipping lane. But uh, we also need to do an airplane lane so that uh, planes can enter and exit the city and I would imagine that uh, you know Washington DC is off in that direction so I would imagine you have a flight path um, that's gonna go literally like right over the river just like that and I, that's the only one I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do any other place um, you know you could do another one that Maybe crosses right here, and this is the East Coast, so you got planes coming in probably all the stinking place in any direction from any direction, and you probably got like 30 planes in a square this size in real life uh, in, on any given day. But I'm just going to do the one that's good enough. And so now you want to think about, okay, what about rail? Now, they only had a... a, a road bridge they didn't have a rail bridge but that doesn't mean that we have to follow that rule the other thing that we could say is okay well it's going to go up the coast here and then it crosses later down and it comes up this way so we we need to figure out do we want to do a rail bridge or not i'm actually going to vote no i don't want to do a rail bridge we can do a rail bridge over this river but we're not going to do one over that and i think we're only going to have uh, do we want to do rail on this side i don't think so i don't think it makes sense to do rail over here without a rail bridge so it's only going to be on this side and you know this is really going to chesapeake so there's not going to be any rail going in that direction likely um so i think i'm going to have it like come in over here and just kind of curve around and go out and follow the coast so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to have my my freeform road here on and i'm going to click and I'm going to go in this direction first. And there's my airport coming. My air, uh, my airport, or where I have my airplanes going. I don't know what you would call that. Uh, the, the plane lane, I guess you would call it. And so here we go. We've got our rail here. And I'm going to do really nice, big, sweeping curves. Nothing overly structured here now. I'm not going to just throw it over the river. I'm going to be more detailed when I when it comes to going over a river. Um, like that. And, yeah, let's throw it like that. I think that looks better than just the one. I like having the two. So let's just throw it like that. Bam. And then we'll have it curve up and go right through where we have the ore there, which is perfect and on out right so now we have a good rail there now what we might want to do is we might want to separate things out in such a way that 
maybe we have a second line and one is a cargo line and one is a passenger line and I don't think that's highly realistic uh, I mean obviously you well, you can have separate lines like that uh, what I mean I don't think it's highly realistic in that um, you wouldn't have that uh, for long distances but maybe that go those two things they, they separate out just off the map and go to two different places so that's how I'm going to justify it in my head if you don't like it you can you know Go do whatever you want, because it's your game. But this one's mine, okay? So, I'm going to do it. Uh, what would you vote for? I also vote for that. I don't know what we're talking about. you got to remember, I'm only looking back at the, the, the chat every, like, uh, five, ten minutes. So, you can give me more context than that, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I can't help it. Now, let's just create a natural bottleneck here. If we want to change that later in the game, we can do that as part of our city, but uh, I like the idea of having a natural bottleneck. You wouldn't spend extra money unless you had a municipality um, on, an, on that bridge. You just have the one bridge. All right. They'll do make more context later on, such as now. <laughs> Back when you made that rail connect. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think, um, you know, in real life, you'd have it merge in, and then it'd go on uh, on the single rail. But the problem with that is, in the game, you could, it, it, the game has some limitations. And so I'm also thinking about how the game works. Sometimes you'll have a train that, gets stuck at the edge for whatever reason and having this as a separate line that's just going to help things run a bit smoother uh it just it just will and so there we go we got our rail in that's that's all i'm going to do and i think that's actually that's perfectly enough i think i really like the placement of it it makes a lot of sense that it would come to the city and then get the heck out of here it's not in the first thing so you got to expand to get to rail which also makes a lot of sense to me as well okay now we can set, I believe, over here in settings. So here we can set the start tile. So let's say I don't want it here. I wanted it there. Well, then I just set it there. I want it here. Actually, I like that as my start tile. So I'm going to leave it there, and I did that on purpose. But um, you can change it to any of these. Now, I would recommend keeping it within these uh, nine center tiles and not on the borders here. But... That's just, uh, again, a policy that I keep for myself. Um, you're Feel free to break any of the rules that you want, but we'll just know that uh, players are going to have limited options when you do it that way. So if you're going to do it that way, do it as a feature and not as a, oops, I, I didn't mean to limit your options. If you're trying to make it more challenging, if that's something that you're working towards, then go, by all means do it, but don't do it accidentally. Do it intentionally if you're going to do that. And then um, we'll, you can also take a screenshot, but we'll do that later. Well, first, we want to do our roads. Um, now, you can do big intersections here and like that. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not all about that. So you, you got basically two types of highways. You got the highway on-ramp, and then you get the, the three-lane highway, which I think is over. I think they should have done gone with a two-lane highway. Um, and I, I wish they, you know, obviously the network uh, additions uh, to mod... It gives you the, uh, the what is it called, the National Road, and um, I like that. But at the same time, I wish they had it in the base game. It doesn't make sense to me that you'd have uh, a three-lane highway going each way um, out in the middle of nowhere. Just at least, at least in America, I don't know. Maybe in other countries that makes more sense because there's just more density. I don't know. So honestly, I'm just gonna throw this in nice and straight. Not even going to curve it. All right, and I'm just going all the way to the edge. All right, and then here I'm going to go to the edge and bring it on in nice and straight. Bam. And, you know, you can get closer than this. Um, 
Uh, I don't mind being that far apart. Uh, that gives me room for expansion. I could stick a rail in the center of that maybe later or something if I wanted to. But, um, you know, you can be more detailed about it than I am. Now here, we're going to have a big old bridge going across a huge, huge section of river. I mean, that's a big, big bridge. Um, and it really, to get, it gives you an idea of how um, improper the scale is for, like, these... Um, bridge towers uh, it just is not nearly as big as I think they ought to be um, but uh, I'm not gonna, we're not here to complain about that so let's go ahead and we're going to page up uh, three maybe four and we'll go we'll go down I don't I'm not ready for the, the main bridge yet and then we're going to go straight across I'm using straight I'm not using um my, my free form or my curve here. I want to go straight. All right. And I want to have it at 180 degrees, nice and straight. And I'm going to click it just to the edge of the water here. All right. Now, here's the thing. How am I going to get that to come across? at just the right point to where I'm not having any wiggle. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm literally going to do the same thing over here. And uh, it might be counterintuitive to do it that way. But the reason I'm going to do that, even though it's going to be going in the wrong direction, is I can fix that later. And I'm going to literally drag it to the same spot. I want to make sure that I'm staying at 180 degrees. Oh man, such a huge span. And bingo. And so since I started at the same spot, um, all my segments are lined up now. Um, if you, if if I, I even because the coastline is a, a diagonal. If I had dragged this further up the coast, um, then these uh, two roads would look different, and they wouldn't align, and it would look a little bit funky. So, um, again, this is vanilla. With Move It Mod, you could do whatever the heck you want, right? And that's why I love the Move It Mod. But um, here, this just allows you to, uh, to get it nice and even and clean looking. So I'm going to pull it out to about right there, and I'm going to go ahead and page it on down, bring it out to about the same spot, just like that. And now I'm just going to go to my upgrade road, I'm going to right click, and it's going to turn it back to the other direction. And now I have two relatively matching bridges here. Um, and I can just uh, switch that back to the other direction, and we're all good to go. Now, how am I doing on time? It's 10.34. Okay. Uh, so I got about uh, an hour and a half left, and I think that's going to be great. Now, you know, you can obviously... Oh, uh. That one segment got messed up. There we go. And so there we have it. Now we have a nice cause, uh, suspension causeway, <laughs> which would never be the way they did it in real life. And that's why, you know, having uh, the the Steam Workshop, you can download nice, cool bridges. Um, and, uh, you know, some of the other mods, I can force that to just be a causeway instead of being this big old suspension thing, which I just think is a bit ridiculous. Um, I would, in real life, you'd have a causeway here, and then you'd have one section that goes up higher and, and has this, the suspension so ships can go under, and the rest of it would go back down to causeway. I think that's how it would work in real life, but um, this looks good, though. I'm, I'm just going to leave that for now. Uh, obviously, you can uh, do your game your way, it's, you know. You know, if you want a tree there, you just make, maybe a tree lives right there. Going Bob Ross again on you. All right, now, now that we got it across, where are we going to bring this 
thing because we got to hit, we have to hit this square. That's one thing you got to remember is we have to hit this square. So I th what I think would happen is um, this would continue on out the map and then we'll have a junction right here that can kind of come down and go through um, our map here and then come come around along the coast and probably like go out towards that direction like it's going to Washington DC there so that's what we're gonna do so let's go ahead and do this now I'm gonna bring this straight over to here and I'm gonna bring it back to about right there and what I'm doing is I'm using these little hash marks on the road to guide me um, from one line to the next is 12 of the uh, cells that are in the grid. And so those 12 cells, that's also the furthest you can go without having a second uh, segment. Uh, you know, I, I have one here, one uh, pillar, one support, and now I have two supports. So this is one segment. And then anything beyond that, it'll break it into two equal segments. And you might not want that. So uh, I do need to lower it down, though. It's a little bit too high. Will that work, though? It, it looks like it will. So I'm going to bring that over to there and then go straight across. And then we'll bring it right back down. We'll go the full 12. And then go too far and it creates another segment right so we'll do it just like that and we're going to do the same thing we did before we're going to bring it to be nice and even that's why I'm, I'm used you notice I have all my guidelines on so that it matches up nicely all right and then we want to bring that on out No fancy curves, nothing crazy, just bringing it on out. All right, now I'm not going to go all the way to the coast with that first one because it's in the wrong direction. So, so here we'll go ahead and bring it out to the, to the edge of the map. And then here I'm going to pull in from the edge of the map and connect up. And I got a little bit of a kink there, but that's so far towards the edge of the map that nobody's going to notice that. And it's not like that kink right there wouldn't be unrealistic to have in real life anyway. And then we're going to have to upgrade, obviously, this whole thing. We like move it, yes. Yes, we do. We like to move it. Oh, yeah. But, you know, if you're going to do it vanilla, you got to do it vanilla. And move it is just not vanilla. <laughs> move it is very much a chocolate. Uh, it's very much chocolate. Oh, I, there we go. All right. So there we have it. We got our freeway. And if that's all we did, we'd mostly be okay, except that we got to hit our our starting square. So either I need to move my starting square over here or I need to bring a, a road out over there. So um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with this and then I'll move to do the junction after I've set my roads here. So I'm not going to do uh, this number here. You know, it'd be really nice and easy to just uh, throw this down right there and connect it that way. But I, I, I don't like that. I just don't. So I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it custom. When you're making a custom map. Might as well be custom, right? So here's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a lay on my land here. So... Where am I bring? Where am I taking this? Before I start it, I got to think with the end in mind. That's good for life, and that's good for building roads. So I think the end is going to be coming out this direction. So we're going to come along here, and you know we got to 
I think, hug that coast right there and come into our starting thing and then come out this way. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So I got my plan. And I'm going to draw straight straight to it. All right. Draw straight to it. And here, I'm going to come in. And I'm going to make this a little bit closer. So this was a big highway. And I have it plenty of room between the two but this one is going to be a little bit more intimate with each other so it's literally going to be right next to it just like that uh, actually that's too close i want to have one square over okay and there we go remember we can go back and we'll fix the direction later i use that trick a ton okay and i always like to do my inside curve first all right, and so we're going to go to here. And I think I did it too close to the coast here, so I'm going to take out one of those. And we're just going to go straight here. We want to go straight. Um, I'm going to do it to about right there. The page up. Right there. Going with the suspension bridge again, I guess. Not that I really want it to. And then we'll come back down. All right. And then um, we want to have that go straight. No, we, we do want it to curve. So once it comes in, it's going to have to curve. A bit like that. And then it can go straight. To about right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw my other uh, line. And then I'll draw the inside curve of it. So I'm gonna do the, I always like to do the inside curve uh, first. So we want to curve this off. And since I have these guidelines, what I'm going to do is go to here because that's where it curves to and you just go one over again and that's going to keep it nice and even all the way through and you notice I, I'm not using move it or any mods whatsoever this is all vanilla and you can still get a nice clean straight road with that and even if you're not using vanilla that technique can help you out a lot right uh oh I did something wrong Oh, yep, I did something wrong. Okay, let's fix that. So, problem is, I've over-curved it, I think. I need to go straight right there. I think that was right, yeah. There we go. This ought to be better. See, it's not quite parallel. I've screwed it up. I screwed it up. Sorry, folks. I screwed it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally just delete it and go back. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be particular. I'm going to be particular right now. You don't like it? You like it? All right. So we're gonna go straight again. And here's what I did wrong. Um, I thought the curve went all the way to here, but the curve only goes to here, and so that was my problem. And so I'm gonna go back to where the curve really was. And then I'm going to go back to straight. And it ought to work better this time. I'm betting. You see that? Still not working. Oi. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn off our angle. And we're going to eyeball it. So I'm, I'm trying to teach you how to do it, and I'm not getting it, the results that I want. All right. Let's see if I can make this work. I do want to put my angle back on now that I'm doing my curvy road. And... Hopefully that was where the curve ended. 
I'm going to right click to get that off and bingo. Now we're just going. So that's pretty that's pretty clean and parallel, wouldn't you say? I like it. And look how close and tight those two bridges are. That is just great. It almost looks like it is one bridge. Um, that's about as good as you can get, I think, in the stock game without move it. So, what we're going to do next is go ahead and bring this on over. Become a road tutorial at this point, right? Once we're done with this freeway, though, we're almost done. So I want to come out this way. So I'm just going to try and curve it to where I can go straight once I once I do that. So now I just try and go straight, 180, and bring it on home. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring it in. But then I'm going to go and I'm going to continue on from here so that I can make them seem parallel again or still. Um, I think to right about there. That looks good to me. We'll do it to right there and then connect it up that way and now we just got to make sure that everything's facing the right direction so we are right hand drive so this is got to go back and I'm really pleased with how this uh, freeway turned out You know, it's it's not always easy. It's really easy to get off. And the biggest thing I can tell you is I always turn them off when I'm using, like, move it and doing my own games. But, uh-oh, didn't mean to do that. But when you're, when you're laying it out in stock, those guides really use them to your advantage. They really help you out a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, so the next thing we got to do is we got to do the... Um, the transition, we got to do the intersection, the freeway intersection. That's the fun part. Doing the interchange. All right. Uh oh. So we got to do this this way. There we go. Make sure it all looks right. It does, it does, it does. Perfect. Gorgeous. Love it. You gorgeous, yeah. Okay. So, when you have something coming in like this, you know, honestly, I'm going to have to, uh, at least on this side, delete back a little bit. Because with freeways, you want to keep a nice, large radius. You don't want to have too tight of a radius because cars have to slow down so much more when you have a tight radius. Um, and that's in real life for sure. But even in the uh, game here, uh, that's also the case. So, going to go here, and we're literally going to uh, curve it into like this. Now, the way the game will typically do it is it's going to have, at some point, um, it's going to break it up into these on-ramps. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is, again, where I wish we had the two lane and not the three lane because you're going to have lanes that are not going to be used. And that's a very annoying fact about the game, especially in vanilla, but that is a fact. So you just got to you just gotta work with that a little bit. Uh, by dividing it up into two different single lanes, though, it's going to work better. So I'm going to actually gonna go straight first. And I'm going to go straight to about right there. Um, so I'm going to go to about right here or so, and then I'm going to page up. And, you know, one of the things, I'm only paging up once to go over, but if you want to have more fine control, you can always click the elevation step to be, uh, that's, that's basically up by, uh, nine meters. 
stat is by, I don't know, four or five meters, and that is by three meters. And so that, that gives you an idea. Nine meters is what you need to clear rail, road, whatever you're trying to get over, right? And so I'm going to go until it can, creates that second segment. I don't want two segments. I just want the one. I'm going to go straight. And I'm going to click right in the center, and then I'm going to curve it. And again, we don't want that second segment to come in, so you got to be close enough. And you want to start the curve, but you don't want it to, you don't want it to be parallel too quickly. All right. And then once you've made it over, you want to go ahead and page down. You want to be close enough that it's just doing it once. And you don't it's not a bad idea to go ahead and hit one of these segment marks here. And just like that. And then you can go ahead and bring it on in. Okay? And then you also got to always remember that you want it to go the right direction. So go ahead and fix that now. But don't forget. Oops. Didn't want to do that one. And we'll bring it on home. There we go. And so now we have a nice exchange going there and we're going to have to have one coming here as well so let's go ahead and make that and here we can go ahead and just start with the curve go straight a little bit uh, by about one ma uh, major segment and we'll curve it on in and I'm not going to do it right there I'm going to do it um, back about right there and there we go. Now uh, we need to do uh, going uh, so from this direction uh, you need to be able to get um, onto here and then from here you need to be able to get over to there. So I'm going to need to go up and over and you know, I shouldn't have done that curve right there. I should have done the straight one first. So I'm actually going to delete this. Sad day, I know. It's okay, we'll be able to fix it. And we're going to go ahead and go straight here. And I'm going to page up twice. But I'm going to go pull it all the way over to here. Okay. What that's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to go over... this thing like that and then I'm able to go back down twice and pull that out and don't be afraid to pull it out a, a little bit you just don't want it to hit the ground like that so once it hits the ground you know you did it too far so right there is perfect okay I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that you want to look overhead is like is that curve look like a, a reasonable curve and it does to me and then we're going to want to bring it back on in. And you don't want to do this too quickly and get too weird with it. So you just want to bring it in like this. And I probably want to hit right at that segment there. And that ought to be pretty good. Um, maybe we didn't want to do it that uh, oblique of an angle. But for the stock game, I think that's as good as it's going to get anyway. So... Now we'll go ahead and we got to go at least 20 if not 30 degrees because even if I do it at 14, it's going to naturally come out to about 30 degrees, right? And then we just connect them up. And so one of the things I like to do with the stock game is, again, you want to get it back to, to good before you, you bring it on in. Okay. That's pretty good. And then here, I'm not going to go from here. I'm still going to come from here, right? It just makes sense to me that you would do that. And then go ahead and make sure that it's going in the right direction. 
now you got your nice custom interchange. It's much bigger than the natural one. Hey, I'll see you later, Nuki Duke. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I will definitely be doing more, by the way, too. Um, we got another hour. I, I think I'll be talking a little bit to myself. All by myself. Don't want to be. That's okay. Um, and we're actually we're almost finished with this map, so you get to see most of it anyway. But thanks, Nuki Duke. I'll see you later, Bo. All right, so uh, got a nice custom interchange. It's bigger than the natural interchange, the the cut the one that comes with the map. But I think that's actually not a bad thing. It, it to me looks much more realistic. Um, I did nice and big because you want to have nice big sweeping curves, and. Uh, you know, this is a, a pretty major interchange here. Um, now, one thing I could do is I could have done a proper interchange and have this go on, but I'm going to choose not to do that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I am now finished with my setup. I got my water figured out. I got my resources figured out. I got my roads figured out, including my air, my sea, and my train. And then... You can always detail it with the environment, the rocks and stuff like that. I'm not going to go all out on this map, but suffice to say um, that you can pick stuff and you can just, you know, go to your heart's desire. You get the rocks here and um, different things that you can place in here uh, to really make it uh, look cool. And uh, look like there's been some history. Again, I'm not going to do that too much. You know, Nuki Duke was all about trying to have me do big, crazy rocks and stuff like that. I don't know how much I'm going to do, be doing that kind of thing. It's not my style. Um, this is this is almost getting into plopping versus zoning. And since we're doing stock, I mean, let's be honest, we, we we're zoning kind of people. Um. But we can maybe throw some stuff in here. This is all for you, buddy. All for you, Nuke. All right. All right. So there's my river detailing. <laughs> all right. So, uh, I am now done. Now, before I go, I, I sometimes always forget this. I want to go over here, and you want to take a, a snapshot tool. All right, so you're going to set this up to be where you want it to be. Let's, um, let's do it right over here. Oh, you know what? There's one thing I forgot. You, you do want to have uh, a way to get off the freeway. And a lot of people will provide that for you, something like that. I don't do that for my maps because there's a way to, to do it without having that. And so I, I didn't forget that. That's on purpose, but I won't, I did forget to mention that because a lot of people say, well, you have no way to get under your map. Watch. You will. You won't. Well, you just watch. As long as, as long as you have a freeway that's going inside your starting square, you're good. Okay? Now, going back to this, I think... What we might want to do is something along these lines to show off the bridges. We'll show off the interchange, and it'll also show the map. And you want to, you don't want to be too oblique because while that looks better, uh, more realistic, you also want to show off the map. So I think right about here is where I'm going to go. Click, take my picture, and then I want to double check with Chirpy. I have everything I need, everything that's recommended and required. And so now I'm going to save my map. Okay. Save map. And I'm going to call this, what was it? Um, I don't remember. I'm just going to call it Chesapeake. I'm probably not even spelling that correctly. Forgive me. I'm too lazy to look it up. Um, 
and the new map name. So you're this is the save name. But you also got to give the map a name, okay? And we're gonna do Chesapeake there as well. And then in order for this to be found to where you can start building on it, you need to publish the map in a new game panel. So if you just wanted to save the game, you you were able to start, but you you couldn't finish. You had to go to work. You had to go to school. You had to go deal with your wife. And um, don't worry about it, Nuki Duke. We you're you're good, dude. Um, uh, you got to go do whatever it is you got to do, and then come back later. Maybe you just had to go to sleep. Um, you don't have to go through all this, and you don't publish it until you're ready. But once you hit that publish button, now we'll be able to start a game in it. Okay. So let's go ahead and also quit to the main menu. And we'll see about maybe sort of kind of possibly the game. Uh oh. The mod, because I do have a mod. Ultimate eye candy has caused an error. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Now we'll we can go to new game. And we should find here Chesapeake. And there it is, and there's our screenshot. And shows the resources. So we got a decent amount of resources. We got a lot of fertile land. Uh, there's plenty of water. All kinds of connections. We got 59% suitable for building, which is a pretty good amount, if you ask me. And let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and start. See what we got. So, guys, oh, uh, if you have survived to this point with me, and uh, you want to give me a comment. Uh, on this video, I would really appreciate it. Tell me something that you loved about this, something that really helped you out. Tell me something that didn't help you out or something you didn't like, something I could do better, something I could change. I love that kind of feedback. I really thrive on it. And again, don't forget that we do have, and I'm looking for this here, we do have our Discord here. So if you want to join our Discord, and get a lot more involved with uh, Nuki Duke and I, and uh, maybe become uh, a member of our community. Join the just go type that into your web browser there, and join it up, and you can be Swifty like us. Swifty like us is the way you want to be. Um, you want to stay Swifty. Now uh, looks like I'm, I'm well within all of my limits here, and. Uh, you know, I didn't test this out because I was pretty confident in it. But, you know, we can try and take a look. Seems like things are flowing just well, fine here and well. Uh, certainly along this segment here. So now, this is our starting thing. And, you know, you don't have a lot of room to st on, on the starting tile here. That's one thing. But, actually, I don't mind that. Um, you know, that would just force you to, to buy out sooner. And so we'll go ahead and we'll start. So how do you start when you don't have the two things sticking out? It's really simple, guys. It's exceedingly simple. Click, click, boom. Now you're started. Okay. You go, I'm going to go to a four-lane road here. What's the difference between? Oh, yeah, I did. I downloaded a mod and I forgot to turn it off. So this is um, basically, uh, it switches the left and the right lanes. Uh, the direction so that you can do like a, a, a diamond interchange. But I won't do that here since we're doing vanilla. Um, and so, but anyway, we'll just kind of bring this out here like that. And that can kind of go on in that direction uh, as I plan the city out. But then we'll just um, just do something like this where... You know, my industry is going to be on this side, and I think my city is going to be along the coast and on that side. So, we'll go ahead and click it. Like, well, maybe what I want to do is I'll start with a, a road like this. Maybe I want it straight. I think I want it straight. I like that right there along the river and it'll eventually curve around and, and, and do its thing but 
to start the game off, I'm going to pause it because I'm spending money now. Um, and we want to have a decent amount of room here. So I'm going to go at least two segments. I'm actually, I'm going to go a full three segments and I won't touch that uh, avenue for those first three segments. Okay. We'll go ahead and pull that out to here and then we'll start making a little neighborhood here along the freeway. And I, at this point, am going to turn off all these road segments, and I'm going to turn that down as well. I'm going to leave angle snap on, though. Okay. And do it to there. And we can go ahead and delete this, I think. And uh, should we do it this way? Should we do it that way? I think we'll do it this way like that that makes sense to me and uh, we'll go ahead and come off uh, well you know what I think that that'll be good for a start so I'm gonna go ahead and zone this I'm gonna zone this up you know use the marquee to do that I'm gonna literally get everything there and I'm gonna literally get everything here All right and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick a little bit of commercial down as well right here and I, I, I spent so little money so far that I'm going to go ahead and um, before I build out anything for industry, I want to make sure I have enough power. So let's get our power. Got plenty of power along the coastline here since we have no trees and we're along the coast. Lots of great power. So where are we going to put our thing? Let's put it. Let's see. You could do a coal power plant, but I don't like doing that. Um, maybe we put it along the coast here. Maybe we put it along the freeway here. What do y'all think? I'm, I'm all by myself in the chat since it is only my second stream. So let's see. See, it makes sense if I stayed here, but I know that I'm going to expand out. And so I'm trying to look at it without the border to see what would, how would I want to do it without a border. Yeah, I don't mind doing it like along here because there, you know I'll definitely have it go along there, and um, we can we can do like a, a chain like that. Okay, so I'm gonna stick it right there, like that, and then we'll create a nice little deal here. Maybe we stick this like right here, like that, and then go ahead. And Go like that. And we'll bring it on across here. And let's turn off the angle snap. I wish there was a key I could do that really nice and quick and help my workflow. And get all the way over here. Get a nice good coverage for the power here. And we'll go ahead and set up a water grid here. Now, do I want to do it this way? I do think I want to do it in that direction generally. So I'm going to do it like this. It's not going to be exactly parallel with what we got here, but it makes more sense long term. So just again, trying to plan things out. I think about what you, it's kind of like chess. You want to think three or four moves ahead. You don't want to just go straight to what's best right now you got to think about okay how am i going to expand my city where am i going to expand it how am i going to do it okay now let us see here let's go back to our pipes but we need to bring in so one thing to note is there doesn't seem to be a lot of flow this way but it is going to flow from this direction to that direction Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my, my water, again, right here next to the bridge. Kind of like that look as well. And we're going to throw this as far away from it as we can. And, you know, all of my water is actually flowing um, in this direction because I have that. I didn't put anything else. So that's, that's something to be aware of that... Uh, it's all flowing right here. 
So maybe I literally just stick it on the edge there. I kind of don't like that. Maybe I'll stick it on the edge over here. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it over here. All right, and I'm gonna delete this one. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have just moved it, shouldn't I have? It would have made more sense. Oh well. Too late now. So, go ahead and connect my pipes here. And I gotta make sure they're powered. And then I think we ought to be ready to get things started here. So we're going to go ahead and move across here and then on over. And then here we go. Just go from the corner there to there and call that a day. And I still got $26,000. Um, so I'm going to spend a little bit more money um, on expanding out some things. So uh, I want to have uh, some industry as well. So I'm going to go ahead and build this out. I want to go ahead and turn my angle back on. Um, and uh, I was lucky I just barely missed that, that power tower. Um, so I'm going to bring it out this way like that. And then we're going to have, I don't want to really mess with that intersection, but we can maybe do another one here or something. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I, I think ultimately we'll have an intersection here, but it, I'll wait till I, I'm ready to do a proper intersection. I think this will be good enough for what we're doing in the beginning. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is throw this in. And maybe we what we do is do something like that. You know, at the beginning of a game, I, I obviously I'm not sticking to a strict grid, but I do do things a little bit more gridded. I do get away from that once I get to a certain point in the game. And I think that's realistic. Most cities start off with a, uh, a, a regular a really regular grid. When when they're starting off in a modern era, uh, particularly uh, within the Roman Empire and also in America, um, so that's how that typically works. You know what? Um, do I have that zoned? I, I do. I do have a little zone there. But all right, so I'm just gonna put some industry right here. And do I need? I think I don't think I need to do power any more power lines. Uh, save a little bit of maintenance. So that's it. We are ready to start our thing. Start our map. All right. So this is called Lake Valley. I don't like that at all because it's not a lake and it's not a valley. So let us change that name. Let's call this. Um, we'll call it Nuki Bay. All right, buddy, that's that's an honor of you. I know you're not in the chat room right now, but that's all good. It's still an honor of you, Nuki Bay. All right, not that you're my bay. You kind of are, but not in a, in a platonic way, completely platonic, okay? If you don't know what platonic means, look it up. So here we go. And see, it's it's. I mean, how simple of a connection to your freeway can it be? Nothing crazy, and that's how it it usually is in real life. I mean, when you have a freeway that's going through a very rural area and you just got a little thing starting up, you're just going to have a, a stoplight right there. And unless it's an interstate, and if it's an interstate, then yeah, you would have uh, a, a thing going over like that, but you wouldn't have a big exchange like they they have you usually start with uh, with the vanilla maps. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to have water going over here. That's kind of important for industry you would think you would think I mean I don't know all right so there we go there's that and they are complaining about power I thought they would reach but it's not quite reaching so what I'm going to need to do so I, you know what I think I'll do is I uh, will 
go ahead and give that to them and see if somebody doesn't build over here and that'll solve that problem pretty quick one will help Come on, build something. Build something. They're building over here. Okay, they're not helping me. You are not helping. There. Little extra maintenance, but I'll do it for you guys. Because I love you. You're my industry. But I'm going to take that area away for you, from you, since you, you made me do that. All right. Let's look at our power over here. So... It doesn't actually connect to right there, but I don't need that, so we can eliminate that. That's good. And uh, I think we'll make a little hamlet here pretty quick here, which is all I'm trying to do. Just just want to get to little hamlet. I'm also pretty close to, to getting to profit. So we got our little hamlet, reach a population of 340, and... Uh, yeah, earn some some things here. First thing I'm going to do is taxes. Go to taxes. Go bring that up to 12. Turn it up to 11, but we're going to go to 12, actually. I find 13 is too much. 12 is not too much. Uh, a lot of times I'll go to, to 11. Um, but uh, in the beginning of the game, I like to have money, so... Now we are making surplus, so now we are in the positive, we're in the green, we're in the black, depending on uh, who you're talking to and when. And uh, I, we we got a nice little thing here. And also I did, uh, oh, we're, we, we do need to go ahead and address our power situation. We are running out of power, so I'm going to pause the game real quick. And uh, we'll just stick another one right next to it. I'm not too close. So, right there. And there you go. That ought to take care of the power for now. So everything's working. When we're, when we're looking at our pollution, and our pollution, unfortunately, is traveling in the wrong direction. So I might have screwed my river up a little bit, guys. I might not have done my river. So what would I have to do? Um, you always want to test out your maps before you like make them live with somebody else and before you like build up a city that you're really invested in. So what you would do is you'd go back to your map and you would keep working with this until it worked. Um, and really what my problem is is I put in a drain right there. You see everything is going to that, and that's going to include my pollution. So my pollution I don't think is going to make it up here because it's going to get sucked in right there. But we shall see, won't we? Yeah, I mean, I'm making over a grand a week now, uh, so plenty of profit, uh, plenty of money coming in. Um, but I, 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 you notice one of my, my general policies, one of my general strategies is I do as few services as possible in the beginning of the game. Obviously, once I get uh, to the point where I'm trying to level things up, I will go ahead and add services. But until uh, I've made enough money to be comfortable and I'm and making enough money per month, I really want to avoid uh, too many services. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the other side of the freeway, um, just like this, and try and make it far enough that it's not going to affect anything on the other side of the freeway. Maybe throw it on this side. There we go. I got to be careful with that because I do have water over here. So we made it to a worthy village. Congratulations to us. You notice I didn't zone a single thing more. So we all did that with the initial zoning. Um, and uh, we were able to do quite a bit now, uh, including fire and, and what have you. Now, as you gain, gain these milestones, which is all well and great, you also have to remember that you're going to have to... Um, the, the people are going to demand these services as well. So that's something to think about. Now, 
I put a nice little kink in the system in that now I have cross traffic and it's not just one connection but it's a it's a cross connection so at some point what I might want to do is I want to might want to go ahead and build a bridge that just goes over the freeway or goes under this freeway um, back to over here so that they don't have to go from over that crossing and that's one thing to think about I think I'll do that here a page up I'm gonna, since I have it on the smaller interval, I'm going to page up by three. Click, click, and I'm going to do this number here, page down at the same time. And I'm going to, I'm going to click right here first, and then I'll connect to it. We want to go on speed three. I'm sorry. All right, so we, we have a lot of demand for residential. So we'll want to expand. So actually, I'll go back down to one, and we'll go ahead and expand out. Now, I'm not going to expand out my avenue um, until I absolutely need to. But I will go ahead and, and do this road that will be parallel. Right, and we'll also go ahead and do this curvy road here. We're making enough money per month. We have enough money in the bank that we can go ahead and do this. Uh, you know, having that money early is a big deal. You don't have that money early, and you just you're in a world of pain. So you want to just be very stingy with your money. I think we'll leave it somewhat like this. And we'll go back to straight. that and we'll go ahead and intersect like that and I'll I'll go ahead and bulldoze this for now I don't need that right and then uh, I'm gonna continue our grid here now at some point you got to think okay I'm gonna want to have a major artery going um, across town so we have this major artery coming in but we're going to want one going across as well and so we probably want to go ahead and make that happen and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it here just like this and uh, with the knowledge that you know that's going to also match up oh I, you know what that's way bigger than I wanted it to be I just wanted it to be that there we go right so I'm going to plan for that, and then I'm going to actually go over here. And instead of going, uh, like keeping with the, the really nice tight grid, I'm going to go one, two, three. Give a little extra space uh, on this next line. And, and that's going to allow me to put some bigger landmarks and stuff. So here I'm going to click it in, and just to get a little away from the grid, I'll go ahead and go per perpendicular rather to this other row here um, just to give it a little bit more interest and then uh, we can do something similar you might turn on these guidelines here and we can go to there and then go ahead and start the curve at the same time and it'll be more or less parallel go ahead and go to that segment there and it's still really nice and tight, even though we're curving, right? And then here, and go nice and tight. And then we can just keep it straight. And so you have a little bit of extra space there, but no biggie, right? And then you can have maybe like a little cul-de-sac right here. And call that a day. All right. And then this space is also going to stay open. So that can be, and, and what my plans are is what I eventually I'm going to do. I'm going to have this come up and over like this. 
more like that, and then bridge over and then continue on to whatever I'm going to do on this side of the river. So that's what I have planned there. So I'm going to leave that open and alone. So let's go ahead and get our uh, water pipes done. And they're mostly done for us, actually. So that's convenient. Um, I'll go ahead and click there. And I'm not going to be overly fussy about uh, how I get the, the water coverage. I'm just going to make it happen. So there's that. And then we'll go ahead and zone. And we'll zone all of that. It's going to be far more zone than we need. And, you know, one of the things that I, I, I just did that, so I'm being a bit impatient, you don't want to necessarily copy what I just did, despite the fact that I'm doing a, a, uh, a video about what to do. And the reason for that is uh, you're going to tend to have a death wave come. So all these people are going to all move in at the same time, and then they're all going to die at the same time. And so you're going to have a really big death wave that's going to equal in however many people I, I get in the next uh, several uh, minutes. Um, those same people are all going to die at the, uh, roughly the same time. Now, uh, the next service I'm going to need, uh, they're going to want some, uh, I think, educated workers. Um, well, they're not, no, they're not looking for educated workers yet, so that's fine. Um, this, this is getting solved as people are moving in. But um, we are also going to need to go ahead and address the crime issue here. So let's go ahead and get a police station here. And we'll go ahead and just stick it uh, right uh, here for now. And that's going to get replaced with the, the headquarters later. We can go ahead and also get a, a fire station, but I don't have the money for it right now. So we'll go ahead and wait on that. And, you know, we're still we're still making surplus, although our surplus seems to be getting leaner. So um, we're also going to need to, I think, update our power. So let's go ahead and do that. Right about there. So you get to 8. I, I stay at 7 no matter where I am. Okay. So we're going to... That, that 1 megawatt hour that we're going to lose by by having it at 7 and not 8, is uh, it does make a difference. But I don't know that there's much I can do about that. I get 8 out of here. You know, ultimately, what my plan is, I'm going to have it all along here, have these all along here, and kind of wrap around and kind of connect up here. So it's going to kind of be a, like a conga line of them. All right. Hopefully that's enough power. It is just barely. We've got a tiny town. We reached a thousand population, so we're able to, to do some more things. Honestly, I don't find most of these things helpful yet because this is going to be to level up, and I'm, I'm not looking to try and level up because that costs too much money. Um, I'm just trying to make money. So I do need to go ahead and put another power uh, line, or not a power line, but a, a wind turbine there just to up my thing. And let's check on our water. Water's still doing just fine. Let's check on this pollution. And it's it's creeping. Let's see. Um, let's go over here to pollution. It's creeping around. But it ought to go and, and get stuck and go into my drain right here. We'll see. So... We have, let's go ahead and turn it back up and just kind of watch the city a little bit. And these guys are complaining about noise pollution. Probably from being too close to this commercial. Hmm. Is that the problem? Let's take a look. Noise pollution. I guess it's really from the road. So the best way I can think of is to add trees. I don't know if I'll have any space to add trees, but 
trees will help with this. So you can do it right along the edge here, even in the vanilla game. And that can sometimes help out. So let's let's lay down some trees. And yeah, that looks like it's helping. And it also adds uh, some visual interest, I think, as well. There we go. That looks pretty good. Add a tree or two here. There we go. Got a gas station there. Nice. All right. So, you know, I didn't put a clinic in. I just throw some trees in. I don't think I have access to the clinics anyway, but um, they're getting sick due to the noise pollution. Trees help solve that problem. And they also look good, so bonus for us, okay? Now, I do think what I can do is I can go ahead and delete that, uh, I think it's safe to say. And it looks like because that is there, I can go ahead and delete this entire line here, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and leave that for now. But then we can go ahead and adjust our zoning accordingly. And it looks like we need some more commercial I'm going to go ahead and add commercial all along here, like that. And we can go ahead and add it here as well. And right now I do have a bottleneck here, but the traffic isn't too bad. So um, you know, ultimately what I'm going to want to do is uh, this, this avenue is going to carry the majority of the traffic across town. Um, to some place like this and wherever else it needs to go. Um, but in the beginning, you, you know, you want to save money, so you want to have as few segments of avenue as you can because avenue costs more money than regular road. And it's doing fine. Now, we do have some more demand for our industrial, so let's go ahead and uh, accommodate that. So... One of the things I can do is instead of just doing normal goods, I can go ahead and get into my industries here. Now, not, not from the industries DLC, but just the, the, the varying industries that came even with the base game. And so what we can do is we'll just continue this grid. No reason not to actually just do that uh, for the sake of ease. We've got our zoning here, and we zone a district here, okay? I'm going to make sure we don't go over our existing unless we wanted to change that, because um, otherwise it will delete the, the buildings that are there. We'll lose tax revenue and while, while we're being redeveloped. I'm going to go over to here, and I'm going to create a farm right there, right? And then let's go ahead and have our water extend out. And you want to have a little bit of everything. You don't want to stick with just one industry or just another or just all uh, regular industry. You want to have a little bit of everything. That's really the best strategy I find for the game. You can always import what you don't uh, have, but that creates a, a much larger strain on your uh, infrastructure. And your economy is just never going to be as healthy as it could have been. We're going to go ahead and also zone up that section there along the freeway. And so now we will have some farms, you know, some farming area there. And then as I expand out, this can be uh, where my, my uh, forestry industry is. And then right over there is my ore. And I'm going to have to expand out, you know, a couple tiles before I get there. So I'll, I'll be pretty... Uh, pretty well grown uh, by that time. But, you know, looks like, oh, and we made Boomtown. Congratulations to us. And that's more money in the bank. And now we can do freeways. Uh, we can do a bus depot. We can do the cemetery. So we're going to have to start managing death. And uh, we can also do the ore, but uh, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer before we can, uh, can get to it. Now, we do have... Uh, 
a couple things. So we could go ahead and try and expand out to that. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm not going to spend that money yet. And, uh, you know, I need to spend my money on things like power here. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's get some good power going here. I'll do a second one there. Yeah, that works out well. And uh, I might have to start doing a second row, which is fine. Uh, if as, as we continue to grow, because I'm just going to stick to staying on this side. No reason to, to jump the gun on getting to the other side of the river here. All right. It's quite a nice little city going here, I think. You know, you get the busy side of town. You notice I put my industry right next to that freeway. Um, now, one thing that you might do differently than what I've done here, uh, that's I'm probably going to pay for in a little while here, is right now my industry, uh, to leave, it turns right, but to come in, it has to turn left. And this, this intersection is getting really taxed right now. And so you might separate the connection to the freeway for your industry. But you know what I can always do is I can always just throw in a connection right there. And I've chosen not to do that. Um, but if it became a problem, I could. And I'll probably have uh, an overpass here and have a connection over here for my industry. Or I might expand out and just do it over here and that would be just fine. And then this is obviously going to eventually be an overpass as well. And you'll have an on and off ramp, you know. And I did. I haven't planned very well for that. You know, these uh these houses here, they're going to be very low rent district here. But um, you know, we've got plenty of places for people to live, so that'll just have to get sorted out. And here we got uh, the noise pollution again. So let's go ahead and go back and plant some more trees, shall we? We shall. Give you a couple trees for your yard. That ought to help fix things up for you. Stop yelling at me. All right. Hopefully that'll help things go in. Indeed it did. And we do have death going on, so we need to go ahead and address that. Um, so we'll go ahead and put it in a cemetery. And I think we'll go ahead and put the cemetery in right there. Oh, boy. I tell you what, we've been we've been going for two hours and forty five minutes. Uh, I've always planned to do a a uh, more or less a three hour. So we're going to be wrapping this up in the next uh, several minutes here. I mean, fifteen minutes or a quarter hour. But uh, it looks like we got a fire, and I never did lay down my fire station, did I? So I need to go ahead and do that. Uh, that's probably wise. And I'm going to do it right there. It looks like a great spot for it. And that building did go ahead and get burnt down, so we'll delete that. Just get it done with. That we already have fire coverage for the next fires. Looks like that got abandoned. I don't know why. Why would I have an abandoned thing? Citizens are sick. Why are we sick? Are we getting pollution? I think we're getting pollution in our water supply. Oh, folks, that's a big problem. It's a big, big problem. So this is due to my poor map making. So I made a map for you. I was showing you how to do it, but I didn't do it right. So what's the lesson here is the lesson is... Oh, excuse me. Hmm. I am. I apologize. So the lesson here is you really need to... Um, be pay more attention than I I did to your water flow. Water flow is important, and uh, you know I have my water flowing in the wrong direction. It's going upstream, not downstream. And so my pollution is getting into my water, and now my citizens are getting sick, and I'm about to have a death wave hit. 
if I don't do something about this quick. So the only thing I know to do about this is I think it's going to go ahead and be time to purchase. Let's go ahead and purchase this right here. Okay, and I got, and then what I can go back and do is I can move this to over here. And hopefully that pollution is, it, the pollution is getting pulled actually in that direction. So it's not going to come out and wrap around. And even if it did, by the time it got here, I will have probably expanded my city more. And, you know, I can eventually like stick it over here, stick it up in these little crannies. Um, figure out another way to, to get my water. So I'm, it's just something I'm going to have to deal with on this map, you know. And ultimately, what I'll pro what I would do is I would go back and fix this map. Um, I've already started the city. I'm I'm already kind of invested, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with it. Um, but that is definitely something that we need to pay attention to. And, you know, we already need to get electricity, so I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna throw a, a nice little power thing right next to that to power it. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the grid anyway. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so what we can do is we can, I think I'd rather do it like here, like this. Straight on over. And I can delete that. And we can delete this, obviously, since there's nothing over there anymore to be powered. <laughs> All right, so let's see if that solves our sick problem. I hope it does. You know, these guys could be sick because the pollution in the water and not the pollution coming into our water supply. But what I just did was still necessary because that pollution is seeping up the river. There's no doubt about it. It's flowing in the wrong direction. And yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're going to get better. So it might be just be that we we can't zone here. Now, let me look at this. That's a really odd zone. That's not the zone has gone wonky here anyway. So I'm going to dezone that. Zoning, zoning has gone wonky here. Look at that. A little bit funky. Oh, well. I don't know that there's much I can do about that without move it and, and or rebuilding these roads here, which, honestly, I'm not interested in doing. Too lazy for it. All right, we, we still doing just fine with money. We continue to grow. We got more people wanting to move in. So I think it's time to start expanding down the coast here. So let's go ahead and we can see, we got enough money coming in that we can go ahead and ex, uh, go ahead and do our avenue here. Because what's going to happen is this avenue is going to kind of take over from here and kind of curve around, right? We'll have it go straight. I'm going to pause it since I'm deleting that power. So that's kind of a big thing. And I'm just going to have it... I'm just going to have it go to about right there. Because, you know, eventually what I'll do is I'll have it come around and it'll, it'll follow the coastline here. All the way around. Um, but since I have a limit to my city right now, I'm not going to try and push it too far. All right, there we go. And uh, we can go ahead and make our connections here. So this is going to come straight on in. Let's go ahead and do it like this. Let's, let's do something like that. 
And then I think we can afford another connection in he here. So we'll do... Oh, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted... It... Why does it keep on doing that? Because there's already a node right there. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Uh, let's do it just for the sake of having a little bit of oddness in our grid. Um, you know, if I really wanted to fix it, I could. Um, but I'm not gonna. You would delete that and then put that in and then build the avenue to the road. That's how you would fix that. So, uh, I, I'll do it to, to show you because it's a show, don't explain. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw a road here. Okay, and then we'll draw our avenue to the road. <laughs> and have the same problem again. There we go. And then I can go ahead and delete that. Um, right, and so this is also going to come out uh, a little ways. And uh, let's go ahead and connect like this, this road here. So create a really good path for um, these uh, garbage trucks. Wow, it took a long time for me to figure that out. For these garbage trucks to, to be able to come in and, and uh, support the city. And, uh, you know, basically on this side of the avenue is industrial, but on this side of the avenue, it's, it's going to be commercial in this center here. And uh, we'll do residential still along the coast here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to bring this all the way down. All the way. Now that curved it, didn't it? I didn't want that. Oh, that's, that's horrible. So... I wanted it straight, and as soon as I hit that, it curved it. You see that? So let's have it straight. And it's going to curve it at the end here a little bit, and that's somewhat unavoidable. In fact, what you can do is you can you can brace it and do something like this, where it, it tees in nicely. Uh, if you're going to curve, you might as well curve properly, right? And then we can go ahead and bring this across here. We could even do something like this, though we might want to bring it over a couple notches. That looks fantastic. I love that little S you got there, going there. And very realistic that you keep it a little bit more perpendicular to the, the avenue there, just for the sake of ease of traffic. All right, and so... We'll have one cross intersection here. We're obviously going to have to redo our, our power, and I'm not going to I'm not going to fill in that triangle quite yet. I don't think. And then we did have like this this parallel road here, so we're going to want to replicate that on this side. So you know. I know what I'll do. I'm going to do this kind of a number. I won't do it over here. Those will just go straight. Yeah, like that. And then these can go ahead and go and then just stop. There we go. I don't mind that one bit, in fact. And then what I'll do here, is I'm going to do that. And I'm going to delete all of this, because it's just, it's just all kinds of wrong for a grid. And we will rebuild, take all that off, though. I, I, I don't like having any kind of snap on when I'm doing my power lines because they don't need the same, the same kind of snapping that a road might. Okay. 
And we need to make sure our, our water is going to be set up for them. Let's do that. can go ahead and press play again oh we didn't zone so let's go ahead and zone so certainly all here let me go back to this hmm so certainly no oh, I don't want that like that so I guess what we'll do is we'll have it like this There we go. Here we go. And that power, of course, is not quite reaching them properly. So let's um let's give them a little bit of encouragement there. We do need to do our commercial here, so let's go ahead. We'll fill in our commercial. There we go. So you notice one of the things I'm doing uh, is notice my hierarchy of my grid here. So I have a main collector road here. So you got the freeway is the, the highest level. It's limited access. Um, and eventually even this is going to be too invasive. And so you're going to only have on and off ramps. There's never going to be a, a, a stoplight on the freeway. Um, obviously in the beginning I did, but uh, that's eventually going to go away and it will never come back. Then I have my main avenues and those are my primary ways of getting around town, right? And I do still have a restricted access. It's not completely limited, but um, it's less. I don't have every single road going into my avenue here. And then I have the, a parallel road here, and you can see I've, I've done it here. So this road and this road are functionally serving the same purpose of collecting it's called a, look, a collector road. It's collecting all the little streets are going to the collector roads, and those collector roads then bring them to the main avenues. And then the avenues bring everybody across town and to the freeway. The freeway is brings you to wherever else you need to go. And so that is kind of the hierarchy of the, the grid, um, particularly in an so, suburban American cities, which is what I'm most familiar with. I grew up in Houston, which is about as sprawl as you can get. Um, looks like we are running out of... Uh, what's going on here? It seemed like we were running it. Oh, is it because of power? I bet you it's power. No, it's not power. Uh, well, maybe it is power because we're, we're browning out a little bit. So... Let's go ahead. Uh, we have some money here, so I'm going to go ahead and spend some of it. Um, three and four. And it's about all we can do. But, yeah. Go ahead and spend some of that money. Get some more power going. And that ought to do it for us, yeah. <laughs> it's not nearly as much as I would have hoped or thought, but I know what we ne might need to start doing is start using these advanced wind turbines out here on the coast. That's what we might need to start doing. Um, it does kind of destroy your view, though. That is something to think about. Not that it matters much with all this polluted water going straight up next to our city. Um, so what I might want to do is I might want to go ahead and move that over here. Um, and that'd make it even further away from our water source, which is not a bad idea. But, um, yeah, I think that is going to be it for now, guys. Thank you so much 
for for joining me. Oh, hey, Jack Daniels Prime. I, I apologize. I haven't been looking at my things. So I assumed I was alone. <laughs> um, thank you so much uh, for for joining me, though. That is it for my 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 cast. Though you've only been in here for five minutes. Um, but uh, I've I've been going for three hours. So to be fair, you're just a little late to the party. Well, fashionably so, though. Um, but in any case, I, I I do have some real life things I have to attend to. Uh, otherwise, I probably would just play for the rest of the day. Now, what I do think I'm going to do is, uh, assuming real life doesn't get too much in the way, is I might come back and, and continue to play later. So, I don't know. I'm 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 enjoying this. Yeah, I got to sleep sometime, right? I was I was up real late. You and I were so. I think I got like four or five hours of sleep. I'm an old man. I don't sleep the way, I, you know, these young whippersnappers like Nuki Duke do. Uh, I know you, you you don't have to tell me how old you are, but you're you're not quite. Uh, he's 18 years old. He said, "You're you're probably more like me, in 30s, 20s or 30s." Yeah. Oh, 45. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a young whippersnapper compared to you. <laughs> um, so my other excuse, since that one doesn't work, is I'm fat. You know, I'm not in shape. That's my other excuse. Does that work? You're still going to call me a crybaby, I'm sure. Yeah, everybody's getting sick because of the noise pollution, so we... What I've been doing to solve that problem is just throwing in some trees. Just like that. Um, another way to avoid that, obviously, is separating out your your residential away from your larger avenues here. But um, that's for the birds. I don't want a nice tight grid in this area. Because eventually this is, this is going to be the town center. So it's going to be all high density right here. So you got to kind of plan that a little bit. Uh, I'm head for that. Tip in the scale. So you don't even give that shit to me. Okay. So you're older than me and you're way fatter than me. Oh my god. So I, I'm just a weak human. Okay. You're you're a strong human. I'm a weak human. That's all I got. It's my it's my last volley. It's all I got, man. <laughs> Aren't you from Cybertrend, though? That's why you're heavy. You're made of heavy metal, man. <laughs> Outcast Fox. All right, bro. Well, um, I think this is... I really do. I have to go. It's... Uh, it's noon time high noon here in texas so um let's go ahead uh i'm gonna save this game what do you call it nikki bay or uh, it was supposed to be nuki bay nuki bay that's what i meant to make it i'll change the city name later all right don't worry jack daniels i'll name a city after you one day one day all right and uh go to desktop sign off thank you so much guys for uh hanging out with me and uh we're definitely going to do this again i think at the minimum i'm going to do this every two weeks soon more often as i allows but i think um th i'm not going to stress out about the live streams i got too much real life going on that i'm not going to let the live streams take over my life yeah all right bros laters